already. I just said ahoy. <laughs> I got two hydrates. Thanks for the hydrates. Lucky head. Thank you. Okay, two hydrates. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and head pat. <laughs> Thank you for the head pats. Thank you. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Epic drinking moment. Yeah, epic drinking moment, huh? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to, to class. Welcome to class. How are you? It is it is me, Odessa Sensei. Captain Odessa Sensei. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is me being your sensei. <laughs> You're doing well, Titus. Good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Hello, everybody. Happy, happy Friday. T-G-I-F. T-G-I-F, baby. <laughs> it is a, it is a Friday. How was your day? How was your week? Hope, do you have the weekend off? Have any plans for the weekend? I, I made some HelloFresh today. I made some, I made some yummy HelloFresh, yummy um, pork, Pork bulgogi bowl. Mmm. <laughs> Odessa Sensei. Righty was passing messages in the back of class. Righty. Would you like to read? Would you like to read that note to the entire class? Would you like to read that note to the whole class? Can hear. Hmm? <laughs> ahoy! Ahoy! It's currently negative two degrees Fahrenheit where I am, and according to my weather app, it feels like negative 27. That's too cold. I heard that there is a Arctic blast going through a certain part of the US right now. Um, so if you are part of the Arctic blast, if you are being Arctic blasted, please be careful. Please bundle up if you need to leave your house. Please stay warm inside your house. Wear really fuzzy pajamas tonight. Um, wear, wear nice, nice warm socks. You're always getting blasted. <laughs> Arctic blasted. I, I'd rather be getting Baja blasted. I'd rather be getting Baja blasted. I had a Baja blast today. Not to brag. Not to brag or anything, but I had a Baja blast today. I, I got Baja blasted. <laughs> Better be a love note for, for you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Probably it was a love note. But I don't know, right? He's not reading it out loud for the whole class yet, so who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Thankfully, that is past us. Was freezing your whole week off. Your whole week off. You had a week off and you had to spend it freezing. Ah, what a shame. What a shame. Baja Blasted is the best kind of Blasted. I, I have to agree. I have to agree. <laughs> it was kind of cold. It was kind of cold uh, on the ship too. I um, I don't know. The captain's quarters is like the coldest part of the ship. I swear, it's the coldest part on the entire ship. And I had I have one of those. A friend um, sewed me one of those like like heating bags. Like it's a it's a flannel. It's like a flannel pillow that's filled with rice. Um, so you can microwave it. You microwave the flannel rice pillow, and then it's like a nice uh, heat heating pad, kind of. And I've been um, I've been putting that in the microwave and putting that on my lap <laughs> to warm myself. <laughs> and it's been great. It's been great. It smells a lot like rice. It's a very it's a very rice smell. <laughs> Funny. Ahoy, ahoy, King Glacian, ahoy. I was bullied the last two days. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that off now. We need an Odessa winter outfit. A winter outfit. Yeah, I don't have a winter outfit. I have, hold on, I think I have, I have a Santa hat. Hello? Hello? Wow. <laughs> the Santa hat did not want to, to show itself. We're not gonna try that again, huh? I'm not gonna try that again. <laughs> You've been 
under, up in a, a Sherpa. A Sherpa. That's nice. Yeah, stay warm in a Sherpa. Boop. You booping my snoot already? I wasn't ready to be booped. Uh, thank you for the head pads. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I wasn't up close enough. Hold on. Hold on. Ready for the boop? Okay. Boop. You ready? Three, two, one. Boop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> oh, I don't have any. I don't have any music on that screen, so everything gets really quiet for the boop, huh? <laughs> everything gets really, really quiet for the boop. <laughs> Thanks for the boops, everybody. Oh, Titus, that's your next art project? Yay! <laughs> Drawing Odessa bundled in a puffy jacket. Oh, with a really fluffy collar. <laughs> mm, so cozy. So cozy warm. <laughs> and not with a bag of rice on my lap. <laughs> Well, well, thank you all for coming today, everybody. Welcome aboard. Um, as you can tell from the title and from my my promo tweets that I've been I've been uh, I've been retweeting <laughs> information for all week. Uh, today is a Q and A for all aspiring VTubers, for for new VTubers, for pre debut VTubers, for um, anybody who who has questions about how to get started as a VTuber, maybe as a V singer, maybe just as a streamer. And I'll give, uh, I'll give all the advice I can um, from my experience so far as a streamer, as a singer, uh, as a VTuber. <laughs> I've only been, I've only debuted, I debuted back in September. So it's only been a handful of months, but I've learned so much in that time. I've learned a lot in the time leading up to my debut too. I did a lot of, of research, a lot of learning ahead of time so that it'd be ready by the time debut came. Uh, so hopefully I can share some of the knowledge that I have with you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah. T-Voobers? T-Voobers? <laughs> That's not right. Everyone type new, new, new. TV Ubers. <laughs> TV Ubers. <laughs> VTubers. VTubers. VTubers, okay? <laughs> now, um, here is a, a tiny warning. A tiny warning for the stream, okay? Um, ah! Afmo, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. <laughs> Why is Noom suddenly happening? So much Noom. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Ahoy, Taiki. Ahoy. Um, so I'm saying, I was saying, uh, I just want you guys to be prepared. Here's a little bit of a warning. Um, there may be a slight immersion break in some of the things I say. Um, because I might say something like, I'm a VTuber. When we all know that this is not, I'm not a VTuber and this is a webcam. And uh, this is just what I look like in real life. So, um, <laughs> um, just just a, just a little warning. Just a little. I'll try. I'll try to not say things like I'm a VTuber because we all know I'm not. But just just a, just a, just a potential warning for you guys. Okay, saving your immersion. That's all I'm doing. Just saving your immersion. Don't worry. <laughs> Glasses make you look extra pretty, Cap. And thank you, Ty. Thank you. <laughs> this is my sensei outfit. My sensei. My sensei outfit. <laughs> Do I look smart? Wait, 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 wait. Look at me. Look at me and tell me. How many brain cells do you think I have? Hmm? Hmm? When I have glasses on, how many does it look like I have? Give me a number. At least seven. <gasps> Oh my gosh! That's the most I've ever I've ever been told I look like I have. Oh my gosh! 
ashes of the whole three? The whole three? Wow. I'm doing good today. 100, that is ridiculous. I've never, oh my gosh. Wow, yeah, that's what glasses do for, for my look, huh? That's what, maybe I should wear glasses all the time, make you guys think I'm, I'm smarter, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, my plus 10 int, my plus 10 int. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is 100 more than seven? Um, as far as my mathematics knowledge is able to explain, yes. Yes. Poor DM, Odessa has a monopoly on the brain cells today. <laughs> I guess, or it, it, at least it looks like I do. I don't know if I actually do. It just looks like I do today. It's just, I'm just, I'm just uh, putting up that kind of illusion. <laughs> Glasses of int plus two, so a total of four. <laughs> Chat, chill, lying does you nothing. Shard bear! Shard bear, get out of here! I'm, I'm, where I'm... I'm, I'm looking very smart and everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Hmm. <laughs> Make the glasses bigger, more intelligent. They're already pretty big. They're already pretty large. Um, could I even make them bigger? <laughs> Is this more intelligent? What about that? Do I look super smart now? <laughs> oh, my hat gone already? Okay, Captain Kirsten, enjoy my hat. Do I look, wait, do I look more like a, a teacher now without my hat? Hmm? Hmm? <gasps> but I get my hat back, yes! Yeah! Thank you for my hat back, thank you. <laughs> I'm negative three on my best shard bear. Why are you bullying me, huh? 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 <laughs> At least enough to know not to do any war crimes. I've never done a war crime. Never, never, never done a war crime. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Captain is very smart. Thank you, King Glaceon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you should keep the brain cells for the weekend. They'll just freeze here. No, no, we must, we must continue sharing. <laughs> I stroll through life brainless and aimless, except for what I'm being a gremlin. Do gremlins have, how many, how many brain cells does a gremlin have? <laughs> Don't bully Captain, that's my job. I think everybody on the crew tries to make it their job to try to bully me. Mm -hmm. Never done a war crime that makes one of us. Only me? Am I the only one who hasn't? Everybody else has? Am I out of the club? Should I? Should I do a war crime to join the club that everybody else is in? I don't want to be the odd one out. Oh, man. Peer pressure really affects me. <laughs> like negative two gremlin brain cells. Naruhodo, <laughs> naruhodo. Um, let me go ahead and greet everybody. Let me give it a hoise, a hoise, where we are, what, 18 minutes in. Ah! We're 18 minutes in. Let me scroll up. <laughs> Let me scroll up. <laughs> to greet everybody who is here today. We have Vampire Odessa. That's me. Ahoy. Nightbot. Ahoy. Shard Bear. Ahoy. Amber Jellyfish. Ahoy. Stream Elements. Ahoy. Titus. Ahoy. Titus, you got first. Good job getting first. <laughs> Ash. Ahoy. Fox Cutters. Ahoy. Afmao, ahoy! Lucky head, ahoy! Snaggle ma, ahoy! Um, Shadow Spectre, ahoy! Atonizer, ahoy! Captain Kirsten, ahoy! Um, am I getting everybody? King Glaceon, ahoy! Amonger, ahoy! Taiki, ahoy! Zalea Chaotic, ahoy! Ahoy, how are you? Welcome! Um, is that everybody? Dragon Breath, ahoy! Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. If not, let me know. I will greet you. <laughs> and I'll try to greet people as they come in, as always. 
I murdered several people who didn't have to die. That's a crime in my book. I don't know about that. That sounds like video games. That sounds like video games, which are not real. Video games are not real. I don't want to be the one to tell you this, though. The gremlin race gives you an int debuff, but buffs your charisma. I didn't know gremlins were charismatic. I like that. I That sounds like... That sounds like me. I would take the int, the int debuff and the the, the child buff. <laughs> take this and go do a crime. Okay, Captain Kirsten, thank you. So they, I am well. I went from Streamlabs to OBS today, and it was super nice. Oh, nice. You were using Streamlabs OBS, but now using the regular OBS Studio? Awesome. I've never used the Streamlabs OBS. I just, I started with OBS Studio. Hmm. So that's the only thing I know. <laughs> that's all I know. I just want to save up 3,000 points. <gasps> for Nyan Pirate? Not for Nyan Pirate, just to spam on a particular throwing redeem. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Certainly not the hydrate one, correct? Certainly not that one. Perhaps swords? You wanna throw swords at me? Mm -mm. Stop. Okay, I'll hydrate one. Thank you for the, the single hydrate. Welcome, welcome. I would never spam hydrate, not me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, sure. Don't believe you. Don't believe you at all. Okay, but we have, we received, I received quite a few questions from the crew. Thank you everybody who submitted questions to the form. Um, I, ha I was able to get a, good amount of them put into our our uh, presentation today so hopefully we will we'll hopefully get through them all I can't imagine we won't there aren't aren't that many as long as I don't talk forever as long as I don't talk for absolutely ever then we should be good <laughs> um, did I put that in the title yeah I did oh I did um, I made a list of resources that you, that will accompany this um, that will accompany this stream. So if you have any, if you want to see a list of resources for being a VTuber, you can put in. Uh, I'll put it. I'll pop it into the chat here. But it's exclamation point resources. I put that in the title of the stream too. If you want to pop it in later and check out the document here, this is a little document I made of some resources. I will be referring back to this throughout the stream today, back and forth. I think so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, suddenly a fox with a tiny pirate hat. Crin! Ahoy, Crin! How are you? Welcome! Odessa not talking super long, not my captain. <laughs> Be quiet. I will talk as long as I need to talk, okay? This is a just chatting stream. This is a just chatting stream. And I'm just chatting, okay? Just, just chat. Stall Odessa? Maybe. Maybe. But that's okay. <laughs> As a pirate, war crime is mandatory? I don't know if it's mandatory. I still think it's optional. But then again, I'm not super well versed in what constitutes a war crime. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to learn more about law. Maybe I need to become a better, I need to, I need to, to play, um, Ace Attorney more to learn more about the law and what what makes a crime a war crime. Ahoy, Moose! Ahoy! Yes, Odessensei. Odessensei is here. Class is in session. Welcome. Welcome to class. Um, everybody, put your cell phones away unless you're watching me on your cell phone, in which case, leave it on and never turn it off and and never stop lurking and can, can continue to give me, if you have other devices, log in on those too. Uh, give me as many views as possible uh, so I can get partner and have a nice check mark. <laughs> How about snacks? You know what? 
If you have enough for the class, if you can share with the whole class, yes, Shard Bear, you can have snacks in class. <laughs> bow to Sensei. Yes, bow to your Sensei. Bow to your Sensei. <laughs> Shooting someone in the backside is a war crime. That's the only war crime I know. Oh, you can't shoot someone in the back. Oh, really? You mean like in a war situation or like in general, like in life? <laughs> it, doesn't, it has to be like in a war, right? Moose, will you join me in being Admiral today? Oh, Admiral, I, Ash is admiraling, huh? I saw that picture you put in their Discord server. All the, all the, uh, the, the liquor, the alcohol. <laughs> Be, be, be responsible, drink lots of water, but have fun. <laughs> Titus, you got sponge? Titus, I got sponge! Let's get some sponge! <laughs> Explodes bag of Doritos over everyone. Why would you explode it? Let us eat the Doritos normally! Normally! Eating the crust of your pizza first, that might be a war crime. You know, I might agree with that. You, <laughs> if you eat the crust of your pizza first, jail, prison, prison. <laughs> Moose is the class president. Oh, Moose is class president. Can you be first mate? Titus, we already have our first mate. First mate is already, yes, Oliver. Uh, Dollar Master's cat, Oliver, is our first mate. <laughs> You're very responsible most of the time. Well, it's the it's the it's the not most of the time you gotta worry about, huh? <laughs> you said share and I went for efficient. No, you shared it the way that Katie shared the prom crown in 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 Mean Girls or Homecoming Crown, whatever it was that she won. You she just chopped it up, just like split it into a billion pieces and threw. That's not how you. That's not how you do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Also, in that movie. In that movie, there are way more pieces of crown that she ends up throwing out than, than could possibly be a part of that crown, right? Like, she somehow was, like, creating more crown as she pulled it apart. <laughs> and threw it, threw it out to everybody. There's no way. There's no way that little crown broke into that many pieces that she could throw out to everybody. Was she wrong? Oh wait! I think I figured it out. The limit of how, uh, the limit of the pieces of the crown does not exist. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> no, we don't like we don't like my joke. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Bell rang. Pay attention to Sensei. Pay attention to Sensei. <laughs> Why are you making paper airplanes in class? Pay attention, we gotta get started. Don't boo me, don't boo me. I'll, I'll, I'll take you off the plank. I'll take you off the plank, but I. But we don't have time for plank. We gotta get back to class. Haha, <laughs> good one, Sensei, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. See, that's the kind, that's the kind of, of enthusiasm I expect from all of you. From all of you, okay? <laughs> Odessa, you forgot to ask for the homework? <laughs> oh, that's right. Thank you very much, Mike Sounders. Everybody, please turn in your homework assignments. I will be judging them. I'll be grading them right now. You did the homework, didn't you? You did the assignment, right? Did you not do the assignment, crew? Crew? Your cat ate it? <laughs> I submitted it on the board. Oh, the Crin, Crin, you have your homework? Okay, what's on the paper? <laughs> Crin, this is the recipe for, this is a recipe for uh, chocolate chip cookies. I don't think this is a, uh, I don't think this is the homework I asked for. <laughs> Piles of tread. Snagglema. You, A plus, A plus, thank you. A plus, I'll take all that treasure, thank you. 
from HelloFresh. Yeah. <laughs> no, my HelloFresh sponsorship has come to an end, so you won't hear me making the HelloFresh jokes that um as much as as before. <laughs> How is bribery? That wasn't bribery. Your assignment was to bring your sensei all the treasure. <laughs> and um, it appears that Snaggle Maw has passed. And uh, I'll be grading on a, I'll be grading on a, a bell curve. So uh, <laughs> good luck, everybody else. <laughs> Does the promo code still work? I don't believe that the promo code will work. I don't think it will. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think it would. We're pirates, right? Piracy is the homework. Piracy, yes, piracy is the homework. It was the math book, page 46, 1 to 10. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I'm the treasure? I found treasure here. Oh, wow. You know, this reminds me of the Pokemon, the, the Pokemon game, the treasure hunt. <laughs> Taiki! Here be my treasure. Here be your treasure. Thank you so much for re for subscribing, for resubscribing. Thank you. Uh, very much appreciated, Taiki. You pass. You pass. A plus. A plus. <laughs> the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. Exactly. Exactly. Ahoy. Ahoy, Sammy. Ahoy, little Menchi. Welcome. Ahoy, Mace Death. Oh, you stole my hat two minutes ago and I missed it. I'm sorry. Thank you for raising your hand. That was very... That was, <laughs> that was very, very well behaved of you. Now, did you do your homework, Mace Death? <laughs> okay. Well, now that we have... Oh, and I get my hat back as well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I get my hat back twice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wouldn't that be fun if I just got a recorder and played beautiful music for you like that? Put a hat on my hat? I don't know. I don't have any other, I don't have any like sensei appropriate hats. I have. <laughs> it's not really, it doesn't really work. No, I'm not putting on two hats. No two hats. Does Sensei have bars? Will she teach us how to have amazing flow? I don't know. I guess you'll have to watch the stream and see. You think I redeemed it twice for fun? You didn't redeem it twice. You redeemed it once. You redeemed it once. Don't try to fool me. Don't try to fool me. Oh, bonjour. Oui, oui, baguette. Oui, oui, baguette. You might have done it a while ago. You did it 16 minutes ago, but then it got taken and given back after that. Yeah, come on. Come on. It's true. You can see if Captain has bars by watching my most recent cover on YouTube. Thank you, Ash, for bringing that up. Do I have bars? Perhaps you can check and see. Oh, my hat got stolen again. Thank you. <laughs> Perhaps if you listened to my cover of Kuanano's original song, Cinder, then you could see if I have bars. I don't know. I guess you'll just have to watch it on YouTube and then, and then like the video and then leave a comment. I get my hat back again. Thank you. <laughs> you guys have such timing to give it back at the same time. <laughs> Here's a piece of treasure. Oh, a big chest full of some gold, some real and some chocolate coins. Well, you know what? I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. Wait, is that the song? Is that the one where the song goes, Ringo, Magne, Beam! Ringo, Magne, Beam! <laughs> Leaving a comment is the new one. Thank you for the shower of love. Yes, um, leaving a comment on my on my latest cover is the new homework. Oh my gosh, I gotta get started in class. We gotta get class started. I got a whole presentation to give you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get started. Let's go over to the classroom. Are you guys ready? You guys ready for class to begin? Let's go. 
let's begin. Hold on, let me start. Oh, the animation, the production value, the design, the beauty. <laughs> this, this presentation was put together by Dollar Master. I give my sincerest thank yous to Dollar Master for making this really pretty, pretty presentation for us here. <laughs> Putting this all together. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, a gaming bucket. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the crew. Happy to have you here. I am your captain, Vampire Odessa, and you're just in time for class to begin. I was just about to start our presentation here on our Q&A for... Uh, uh, it is a VTuber Q&A for aspiring VTubers. Questions from you guys. Compiled by Vampire Odessa and Dollar Master. Thanks, Dollar Master, for putting this together. Thank you. <laughs> this is a service announcement to all crew members. We ask you to please refrain from attempted gaslighting of the captain. She is as confused as she is. <laughs> Stop it! I'm, I'm a little, I'm just a little, I, I'm smart. No, I'm very smart. Look, I have glasses today. I'm very smart. You know, the whole, if the teacher is 15 minutes late, you can leave thing. Does it still count if she's here, but just stalling? Stop it! I've been here the whole time. I've been here. I'm a dedicated teacher, and we're going to do some learning, okay? We're going to do some learning. <laughs> is bullying part of the job, Sensei? Part of what job? About, about, a, a, a VTuber job? Honestly, I think so. I think there are two different types of VTubers, okay? There's the VTubers that will bully their chat, and there's the VTubers whose chat will bully them. And I'm not a bully. I'm not a bully. I mean, I'm a bully. I'm like a, you know, blow me, bully boys, blow. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea again rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. <laughs> um, but I don't bully you guys. I think, I, you, you ask me, Tai, Ty, Ty, you ask, which one are you, Sensei? I think you know. I think you're aware. I don't think I need to answer. <laughs> But let's get started. Let's have, we have, uh, I bully you. I don't bully you. You want to go into the brig. Wait, you want me, you guys want me to bully you? You guys are weird. But how would you want to be bullied? That's so weird. That's really cringe, actually. It's really cringe to want to be bullied. Maybe you guys are just super cringe. <laughs> Ahoy, the X count. Welcome. Yes, you're just in time. We're just getting started with the presentation. These are the questions that were submitted by all of you. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. I will be answering them all as we go along. Um, I tried to put them into an order that made sense for me, but it might feel like it's jumping around a lot. Just, uh, just, just know I did my very best. <laughs> okay, so the first question. The first question is coming from Admiral Roger Moose. Admiral Roger Moose asks, why would you choose to start this? Now, for this question, I think there are a couple ways to sort of interpret this. One would be, why, Odessa, did you choose to start this VTubing adventure? And another one would be, why would anybody choose to start to VTube? Um, so I can sort of I can answer one for sure, and I can sort of g only give a little bit of insight onto the other one. I'm not sure, uh, but let's see. <laughs> Call me weird more. Stop being weird, Titus. Stop it. You don't want kid to bully you. Stop it. I might. I would. I would let. I would let them bully me. I think. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest. I did not submit anything. It. it your name's on it. Your name's on it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Your name is right here. It looks like it was written by Admiral Roger Moose. <laughs> so let's start. Let's, let me start with the first interpretation of the question. Why did I, Odessa, choose to start VTubing? Um, and I have 
always kind of wanted to do some kind of content creation, right? I've been singing for a while online and I wanted to, I, I, I never super found a huge amount of <laughs> success doing it. I never, ahoy totally unsafe, welcome, welcome. How are you? You're just in time for the first question of class. So I never really found a lot of success doing singing online and then I watched a lot, I, st I watched, I still do consume a lot of content on YouTube like of people who do like commentary videos, maybe cooking videos, I used to watch a lot of like makeup videos or craft channels and stuff and I thought yeah I want to do that so bad, I want to be the kind of person who, who is able to create content on the internet to have fun doing stuff, putting it out there and have people want to watch it and I want to have people hear me sing but nothing ever really clicked for me i never really thought like oh this is a good concept for for a youtube channel i could start or this is a good idea that would i think people would want to watch nothing ever really fit, felt right nothing really fit um and then over the past couple years few years i saw uh you know some friends and acquaintances really get into the vtubing thing um have some find find a lot of success doing it and I was just I was sort of like mm, I was just I was like feeling a little envious you know like mm, they look like they're having fun <laughs> but VTubers are too cringe I wouldn't do it I wouldn't do it I wouldn't I wouldn't be a VTuber I wouldn't I wouldn't do such a thing mm -mm. that's really cringe um, and then a time came when I was becoming unsatisfied with um, my piracy, my pirate day day life, and I would make jokes with friends like, haha, what if I just stopped being a pirate and, and just became a VTuber, lol. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Unless. And it really, it really happened like that. Like, I would joke about it for a while. I would joke about it for a while. Uh, and then eventually I was like, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Um... But what if I wasn't? What if I actually did? <laughs> and then once I actually got Toss a coin to your witcher Oh valley of plenty Oh valley of plenty Oh Thank you for tossing a coin totally unsafe Thank you Um, so I <laughs> It became less of a joke and eventually I was like, maybe I should actually try it. And then I got some feedback from friends like, oh, you know, I think you'd actually be good at it. I think you'd actually be good. And uh, like I thought of you when I saw other VTubers like, oh, Odessa, you'd be good at that. And then it was like, well, that kind of gave me the push I needed to to actually take the dive into into this adventure myself. <laughs> so um, I, I really started it because I wanted to do content creation and I wanted to see if I could make that happen full time. So that's my, that's my, my journey into VTuberhood. <laughs> Zalea, I remember when you made some of your first few posts on Twitter. Yeah, you've been around. You followed me way in the early beginning time. <laughs> We've been we've been friends for a while, or at least mutuals. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around. Thank you. Happy to happy to have you here on the crew still. <laughs> Good thing you aren't a VTuber. Exactly. Good thing I'm not a VTuber. I'm of the opinion that most things start as jokes, and the longer you joke about it, the more serious you get. Yeah, that happened with me and One Direction. One Direction. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Um, but let's move on. Let's move on from, uh, from, from that. Uh, <laughs> I had to follow one captain to another. Exactly. Yeah. That's piracy. That's, that's piracy buddies. I haven't been around long. I think you're doing great. Always a fun time here. Thank you, Snaggle Ma. Thank you. <laughs> um, but the other interpretation of this question is why would anybody want to start VTubing, right? Why would somebody want to, uh, to start, to start streaming? And that is a very personal question, I think. You don't think I heard what? One Direction? One, one Direction? Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. You know them? Have you heard of them? They're kind of a, 
They're kind of an obscure band. You might not have heard of them. But it's okay. Only only really cool people would would know about would know about Zane, so. <laughs> I was sent your TikToks by friends because I'm all about pirates. The following is a no-brainer. Thank you, Hederna. Thank you. A lot of people know about them. <laughs> hmm. They did. They were huge. Yeah, they were huge. <laughs> but the other question, why would anybody start VTubing? I think the reason to start VTubing is very personal for anybody, right? And I think that with that in mind, the advice that I give today is going to vary depending on the person, depending on what level of commitment you you want to put into it, right? So for someone like me who is trying to go in and give it everything because I want to try to make this happen full time, you know, uh, and really commit to content creation, I would give uh, that kind of person different advice than I would give to a person who say they just want to have a, an avatar they can stream with friends with. Uh, they just want to have a good time to maybe one night a week or so uh, play play among us <laughs> with their friends on a stream. You know, that kind of... It, it's, it's, both of them are completely valid reasons to want to be a VTuber. Any reason is completely valid. Um, but I think your goals are going to be different. You don't want to set yourself up for more than you can handle or more than you really, you know, want to. So <laughs> I said Among Us. <laughs> um, so I think you should just sort of keep in mind your if you if you want to be a VTuber you, or, you, or you are a VTuber, keep in mind that the advice is not one size fits all. If you're just doing it for fun, then that's great. That's awesome and I'm happy for you. But uh, some of this advice that I give today might be aimed towards people who are trying to um, maybe take it a little more seriously. So that's just just a little disclaimer to get started. <laughs> know why you want to to be a VTuber and and own it and be happy for it. If I ever did VTuber, it'd be a were shark pirate. That would be cool. I like that. I want to do this full time, but I'm not sure how to push my content out to more people. TikTok, I found, is a decent way to get out. To p yeah, no, Zule, I, I absolutely, I absolutely agree with that. And I think I'll get to that later, but I think TikTok and short form video is very important to get people in. To get people, to at least, to get yourself in front of eyes. Because that algorithm, that algorithm does so much work for you. You just gotta throw things at it, and it'll, it'll, it'll get you something. You'll get some, you'll get some crumbs back <laughs> if you're, if you're consistent. I found Captain on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, I agree. If I was a VTuber, my name would be Titus Redwind. Oh, nice. That makes sense. I think your name as Titus Redwind would be very nice. <laughs> Okay, next, let's go to the next, the next, the next slide we have here. This is another question from Admiral Roger Moose. What are some of the most important things to starting a streaming career? Um, and it also kind of goes hand in hand with the next question a bit. The next question that we have is from Lusty Cow and it is, what are the things you need in order to stream in terms of a camera, apps, etc.? cetera? Um, so I think the way that I'm going to divide this one is this one is sort of the intangibles that you need to be a streamer, <laughs> most important things you need. And then this one will be like the tangibles, like the actual objects and applications and stuff. Um, so for this, uh, to be a stream, to start a streaming career, you'll need if you're actually trying to start out as a career right you're trying to make it make it happen full time you're going to need motivation you're going to need dedication and you're going to need to stick to a schedule you're going to need to um you know give it give give it time <laughs> uh and i also think that you need for energy is huge. You need to have energy. Even if you're like a cozy streamer and you're doing like ASMR, like low key, like comfy, comfy streams and stuff, you still need to have an amount of energy. Um, because once you, once you stop streaming, once you hit the stop streaming button, at least for me, my energy level drops like crazy. I'm so tired. 
<laughs> I'm so tired because you have to be like on when you're streaming, right? So you need to make sure you have an amount of energy um, to, to stream. Another thing I would say is to have I don't want I don't know if this is phrasing it right but to sort of have a thick a thick skin and I don't mean that in terms of like I don't mean it in terms of like if you're a streamer that everybody's gonna be mean to you and you have to accept that that's not what I mean I don't think you need to um, accept being people people being mean to you I mean that, that would suck if it happens but I'll like, <laughs> I mean it in terms of like yourself, like battling against yourself. Because for me, I I don't know. I get it in my own head all the time. I'll like finish a stream. I'll check my my stream stats because I don't have like my viewer number on the stream or anything. I'll check my stream stats, and if I see that it went down from the last one, if it went down by a little bit. Ups and downs are normal, by the way. Ups and, ups and downs are completely normal. But I will just get into into my own head like, okay, that was a bad stream. That wasn't a good one. That was, I need to, I need to, I need to do better. I need to do something different next time. What did I do this time that was bad? Like, and it, it was my fault. I should have done this instead. I didn't have the right amount of energy. I said the wrong thing at this point. And it's just, you got to get out of your own head and stop criticizing yourself and not get bogged down by numbers. It's, and not compare yourself to other people. The comparisons are so they're so hard. They're so hard to not do. But you got to sort of be able to separate yourself from that once you get into that sort of state of mind. Because you will. I, 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 I think if you start streaming, you will get into that state of mind at some point. That's just the, the way of content creation in general. Uh, you need to sort of separate yourself from that and, and just be like, okay, that, that was what the stats were today. And um, I'll work hard for the next one because it's gonna be different every day, right? <laughs> Not every stream will go as you expected. Exactly, Shard Bear. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when will we get to talking about Shrek? We can talk about Shrek at any point, Titus. If you wanna talk about, if you wanna talk Shrek, um, then I'd be happy to, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, I wish that if you wanted to talk about Shrek, you would have submitted a question to the, the Q&A form earlier, but we can probably, we can probably squeeze in some Shrek related questions uh, if you would like to, if you'd like to put them into the chat. <laughs> right, let me go back, I missed some other, I missed some other comments here. Let's see. Snagglemoss says, I had plans to be a VTuber, but I don't really have the time or charisma for it. I think that if you are yourself, you, I, I think you probably have more charisma than you're giving yourself credit for. <laughs> um, time, time is the one thing that is kind of hard to to do. If you're not trying to be very, um, if you just want to like test the waters, then you don't really need a whole lot of, of time to commit to it. You don't need to necessarily stick to a consistent stream schedule where you stream this many hours per week. You can kind of do it in your own time if you if you have the time. Um, it might be a little bit of time up front investing into getting your, your stream set up and your everything else there, but, um, but I, I think you should have more faith in yourself. I didn't think I had the, enough charisma for, for VTubing and I think, uh, uh, I proved myself wrong a little bit. <laughs> Titus says, I made this channel to try and start VTubing, then my computer crashed and I haven't been able to financially recover ever since. Oh no! Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you're able to get that computer back up and running and get get your get your VTubing off the ground and r get running. Let's see, Shard Bear says, Streamlabs is very user-friendly, but OBS is easier to set up a stream how you want it. Mm, I've never used Streamlabs. I've only ever used OBS. And I thought it was still pretty friendly um, in terms of, in my experience, I thought it was pretty easy to use. So Leia, you get tired too. Yeah, after streaming, you get very tired. The energy, you gotta keep up. And then once it's over, it's like, <sighs> yeah, the energy drop, exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. You put your personality in self, but up it by 10, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so I I think that when I, when I, when I stream, I decided I didn't want to try to do like a character that wasn't really me, right? Um, so, I'm not putting on a personality of any in, in any way for the stream. I'm not putting on a voice or anything. Not that not that it's bad to do that, but for me personally, 
I don't think I could keep that up. I think it would burn me out like crazy if I was like role playing a, a character that wasn't me. <laughs> if I was like putting on a personality that isn't mine. So I, yeah, I, I was just like, I'll just, I'll just be myself and it is what it is. But like you said, you do up it by 10. So I, it's just an exaggerated version of me, right? <laughs> it's me, it's, it's Odessa, but it's just uh, more, more Odessa than um, I would be if I, if I weren't live. <laughs> Use Shrek as your motivation for VTubing. Yes, you can use Shrek as your motivation. Um, uh, you should. You can print out a, a nice picture of Shrek and put it um, right behind your your webcam so that you can have him smiling at you and encouraging you the whole time. And that I think is a really good piece of advice. That's probably the, the best advice I'm going to give so far today. I need to do that myself. I haven't done that. I should absolutely do that. <laughs> I have no doubts that DM would add some Shrek related questions. <laughs> I wonder if DM can edit this. this. DM might be able to edit this uh, slideshow as I go. <laughs> that would be pretty good. I have the charisma of a broken broom handle dunked in tar. Give yourself more credit. You have so much charisma and you have so much talent. Come on. I see the things you've, you've written things, you've drawn things, you're awesome. Is mine downloaded? Nope, it is. I'm doing it from the browser. <laughs> doing it from the browser, baby. I think if you have a consistent persona and schedule as well as streaming for long enough, then the people who like your style will naturally gravitate to you. Hmm, yeah, I, that, I think that's true. Consistency? Consistency is really important in VTubing to, to sort of... It, to maintain the people who, you know, maintain people like regulars, right? And then to also um, try to get more people in so that they know what to expect. Like, oh, this person streams on, um, this person streams like three weeknights a week. And I know that it's usually at this time so I can come and watch them at that point. You know, like <laughs> if you have consistency and it's not like, oh, like they, they streamed once in January, they streamed like four times in December. Uh, that if if you if you're really inconsistent like that, it's gonna be hard harder to you're gonna. I think it's gonna be slower growth for you. If I get a decent PC, you'll be the first person to ask to collab with. Ah, <laughs> honestly, smart. I don't begrudge people who can put that on, but I feel like it's better to just act as yourself. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Like it's it's. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause this is, this is a person I'm going to be VTubing for hours a day, for many days a week. I, I can't, aff I can't mentally afford to put on a character that's not me. <laughs> but that's just me. If you can do that, if you can put on a character for that long, if you can put on a, a, a kawaii character voice for that long, or whatever, I, then, then, amazing, amazing for you. <laughs> a louder Odessa taking notes. <laughs> Odessa Sensei, DM is eating glue. DM, stop it! Stop! No, don't, don't, don't eat the paste. I know it smells really good. <laughs> don't eat the paste. Put the, put the, put the orange, put the orange, put the popsicle stick down. Put the popsicle stick down. We're, we're moving on. We're moving on to the next question, which is. What are the things you need in order to stream? Okay, this is the physical things you need in order to stream. Okay, here we go. So one, you will need a computer, like a PC or a laptop, you, your device for streaming, right? <laughs> with with all the, the peripherals, your, your keyboard, mouse, headphones, headphones. Um, you, you don't need, you don't need fancy headphones, okay? You don't need fancy headphones. Um, I'm using, <laughs> I'm using some really cheap earbuds. It might be better to have nice headphones, <laughs> but I'm using the cheapest little earbuds. I've been using them since I started. So um, there's that. <laughs> I use earbuds. Huh? What do you mean, huh? What do you mean, huh? Um, then you'll also need a, a microphone. Now, now, now. I don't know how many of you are in the Twitter sphere and how many of you have been uh, uh, 
aware of the microphone discourse that has been happening over the past week or so. Um, <laughs> but there has certainly been some microphone discourse happening on Twitter.com. <laughs> Yeah, um, hating on the Blue Yeti. Yeah, so the, there was a, I'm going to roughly summarize it. There was one tweet where somebody said um, that they, that, that as a streamer, you should have a, an XLR mic instead of a USB mic. Uh, and you shouldn't be using a, a Yeti or, yeah, I think they, I think they might have called out a Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, I used a Yeti for uh, years. I used a Yeti for years. Mm -hmm. It was fine. <laughs> it was an upgrade from my Snowball. Okay, I had. I went from. I went from Snowball to Yeti. <laughs> I was blue loyal for a bit. <laughs> um, but I currently. I currently use a. Um, <laughs> you had the wait. You also did the, the snowball to Yeti glow up. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with USB mics. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. If, especially if you're, if, if audio quality, if you're not particularly like trying to have a super, super professional sound, if you're not doing like voice acting work, if you're not doing singing covers that need like a really higher quality sound, then... A USB microphone is fine. Like a Yeti is fine. A Yeti is pretty good quality. Like for for an audio for a stream, it's clear. As long as you're using it correctly, you have it facing the right way. You have it the right distance from your mouth. You have like a pop filter to to stop the you know the pop filter or something to sort of like stop the plosives. And you're using um, plugins on your OBS filters to improve the sound. A USB microphone is pretty dang good. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> I really don't. But, um, yeah, so you need a microphone. As long as it makes sounds, you're good. As long as it doesn't sound like an Xbox 360 headset, you're fine. Even if it does, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. If it sounds like an Xbox 360 headset, I guess you'll be able to hear the words you're saying, but they won't sound very good, and I wouldn't want to listen to an Xbox 360 headset yelling, yelling stream the entire time. <laughs> Mm, but but I think you would I think for the most part if you're using a Yeti it's probably you probably have a good uh, you got a good setup going hmm will a tin can on a string work now for that mm, I don't think it would work I, I mean what is the interface that you're using to get the tin can on a string to your computer? Do you need a USB interface for that? A $30 crappy, to crappy toner mic. I don't know what toner is. Ah, Connie Miko, ahoy, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Yeah, so, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I did upgrade from my Yeti. I used my Yeti for a while, but I've been upgraded to... I have an XLR mic now. I have an uh, uh, an Apex 3... Apex... I, I always say Apex 360. It's Apex 460. <laughs> but I've had this for years as well. I think it's like... Oh gosh, is it like seven or eight years I've had this microphone? Um, and it was a big investment. It was a big investment at the time, but uh, it's been going strong since then. I've never, I haven't had any complaints from people since. I haven't heard anybody complain about it on stream or in any, um, in any other things. <laughs> Xbox, Xbox 46P? No, it's Apex, Apex 460, <laughs> not Xbox. Not Xbox. Um, and I thought about upgrading to, I thought about using, getting like an actual, like a, uh, a microphone that might be better for streaming, right? But I was just like, I'm just gonna, I gotta use what I have. I gotta use what I have. There's not a need to, maybe, maybe one day I can, if I grow, if I have the opportunity to get a, a different microphone, I can, but I think if you're just starting out, use what you got, man. Use what you got. Your mic sounds great. Thank you. Thanks. Um, but other than microphone, computer, everything, you need your, a camera. Um, if you want to be, it, that is, if you want to be a, a VTuber, like with uh, 
a, with an avatar that does like motion capture, like uh, like a 3D uh, Vroid or uh, like this, my live 2D. Um, you'll need a, either a camera or you could use your phone. Um, particularly iPhones are really good for, for capturing um, face facial capture. Ah! Kai Pike! Kai Perion, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Welcome. Happy to have you on the crew. Oh, hello. Your stream showed up on my recommended tab. I thought that your model looked well designed and fairly cute, so I decided to check out your stream. Thank you so much. And so far, your content is great and interesting. Keep up the good work, darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, and before I forget, my name is pronounced Kyperion. Kyperion. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it before the first time. Kyperion. Thank you. I think that your voice sounds pretty and calming. I'm sorry for the entire paragraph. Not the great of compliments. No, that was wonderful. Thank you, Kyperion. I really appreciate it. Kyperion. Kyperion. <laughs> I'm gonna get that right. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you here. Yeah, so iPhone, you use an iPhone? Nice, nice. See, I've heard iPhones are very, really good facial capture, um, but I just use a webcam for it. I don't use a phone. <laughs> And it works out fine. It works out really nice. There's this new DLC on, on VTube Studio uh, for uh, NVIDIA. If you have an RTX graphics card, and it makes it a little bit more, a little bit better uh, for the, the capture. So that's what I that's what I use for for my my uh, model, my webcam, my webcam. <laughs> oh, and Kalabaza Dan, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you here. Welcome. Happy to have you on the crew. My name is Vampirate Odessa. I am your captain here today, and today we are. I'm answering some questions from uh, people regarding how to get started with streaming, how to get started as a VTuber, um, and I'm just going over here the sort of equipment that you need to get started. Oh. Pirates. <laughs> Calabaza, I got recommended your video on Mexican snacks and had to pay my respects. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming from that video. Thank you. Yeah, I had a lot of Mexican snacks. Oh, I I, I am a, a sponge fan. I learned that I love sponge. That's my new favorite. <laughs> Uh, let me go back. Let me go back to to what Ash said. Uh, Ash had another comment here. Honestly, there's so many who feel like they have to have either some type of model PNG or have a face cam, but there's nothing wrong with not using anything. Nothing wrong with streaming blank. Yeah, I do agree with that. If you if you want to just get started streaming, you don't need to necessarily have a model, um, whether it be a live 2D or a PNG or whatever. Um, but also having a PNG could also be. Uh, putting in a PNG is relatively easy if you use like um, something simple like Discord. Uh, what is it called? Reactive, reactive images. Um, that's what I use when I bring in PNGs for 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 collabs, and that works really well. Um, and you can use it for yourself too. I used that when I when I was a duck <laughs> and I had to become a duck <laughs> for for our Sea of Thieves stream. So uh, it can be pretty easy to get that set up whether you, uh, you know. <laughs> so in that case, you don't need a camera at all. If you wanna be a PNG tuber, you, there's no need for a camera. You can just use your use a PNG and uh, it'll, it'll work really well. <laughs> um, but other than that, you'll need software. You'll need um, a streaming software. I use OBS Studio. You can use like Streamlabs OBS. I think there are a couple other places that will have their own proprietary streaming software. Um, but I just use OBS because it's the generic one that's open source and it it, it seems pretty. It's pretty customizable. Um, not that not that the other ones aren't. I've never used the other ones, and I just wanted to go to the source, to the the open source, huh? I wanted to go to the open source, so that's why I'm using OBS Studio. Um, and then in that, it has, I mean, there's other, there's lots of plugins you can get. There's um, overlays you can add. 
um, like I use, I go through Streamlabs to get my chat messages popping up, but you can go through something like Stream Elements um, to get all the extra things on the screen. Um, if you are a VTuber and you have a live 2D model, you're going to need a program like VTube Studio. That's the most popular one. I don't, I've never used anyone other than VTube Studio, honestly, so I couldn't give advice on other on other programs, um, but that's what I use for um, for streaming YouTube Studio. A bunch of free overlays out there too. That's right, Shard. There, there are a lot of free overlays, um, and I listed on my resource document. I have a couple. Um, let me let me pop out of here for a second to go over to my resource document. This here, um, let, me, let me pop the link into the chat resources this document um, is it has lots of different things uh, in, in here on VTube resources if you click on this link here it will have uh, information for like assets and uh, and let's see VTube material search let's see yeah there's a whole section here for graphics backgrounds overlays panels and stuff so we'll have lots of um, links here to places where you can get free to use overlays with, uh, you know, if you use, if you credit the, the people, um, even some free and paid models. This, 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 this has a lot of information here on this, this card. Um, additionally, there's this discord server you can join. I love this discord server. I'm always lurking in this, this VTuber assets discord, the first link here. This one, I'm always lurking here. Um, is the VTuber Assets Discord? Yes, there is. Yeah, yeah. It's a very, it's a very, um, it, it's it's very extensive. There's lots of channels, very um, <laughs> lots of lots of resources to choose from there. Let me take take my ears away. Also, ahoy, serious ahoy. What's a VTuber? A VTuber is a virtual uh, YouTuber. <laughs> Even though I'm not on YouTube right now, I'm on Twitch. Um, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, and then if you go, uh, if you just search the hashtag VTuber Assets on Twitter, then it will open up a lot of, um, it will open up all these different resources you can scroll through. Uh, there are also a couple other accounts like VT, VT Resources, Assets Tuber, that will retweet assets as well. Um, so there's lots of different things that you can get for, for your overlays for your stream. Lots of places to look for, for, for those resources. Um, let me go back into here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we, we went skipping ahead. So yeah, then there's other programs you could get as well for stream. You know, I mean, you could go crazy. I have a few other extra things like on my stream. I have um, like like the the Twitch integrated throwing system where you can throw things at me. Um, there is the uh, like stream stickers. There's sound alerts. But all those things are just like extra things for fun. You don't necessarily you don't need them to get started to stream. Y you don't. <laughs> As long as you have OBS, you can um, have your game. If you have a PC game, have your PC game going on it, then you're good to go. You don't even if you don't want to stream a game, if you just want to stream chatting, then you're good. But yeah, I think that's. I mean, you you can stream with a bare minimum. You don't need to have a whole custom stream overlay, everything all super set up and ready to go. You can sort of just test things and 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 just get the feel for it without going too overboard. I think. Speaking of assets, where's Caspian? Caspian? Caspian is is uh hold on um somewhere somewhere. I know I didn't. Where, where did he go? Hold on, where did he go? Here. Hold on. Okay, he's here. Did I forget to feed him? No! He's here, Caspian is here. The vampiret, the vampiret is present. <laughs> Okay, let's go. 
It's a cute little parrot. Yes, Titus. Titus created this this little parrot. His name is Caspian. He's a vamp parrot. He loves blood oranges. Perfect. I love blood oranges myself. Okay, we have a next question here. Our next question here is from Avalon. Avalon asks, how do you land on an aesthetic? Now, this one, this is a fun question. I really liked it because um, not, to, not to give you guys an immersion break or anything, but I had like a couple ideas when I was getting started and I didn't know which one to, to stick with. <laughs> I had a couple of ideas, um, but I'm not gonna say I'm 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 only gonna speak of what I am, which is I am a vampire pirate. So um, when I was thinking about what to do, I was like, what kinds of things am I interested in? What kinds of things do I like? What kinds of things would I be happy to be looking at for hours on 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 end on a day, right? What 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 do I want my personality to to what what do I want to project to the world? And so I thought about things that I was I really was into. I love I, I was I was really into sea shanties, um, and I played a pirate in a few um, in a few tabletop RPG games. I played like pirate characters and was like, oh, I want to be a pirate. Uh, and I uh, I had also been really into this series, this musical series of vampires. And I was like, oh, vampires and pirates combined would be so nice. So I, that was sort of just like thinking of a list of things that I liked and putting it together. And, uh, and that was basically how I sort of decided on like a theme, right? And then for the aesthetic, I, I was, I went through, <laughs> I searched on like Pinterest and Google images, like random words for like different, like little, like to, to make like a mood board almost, like a mood board of the things that I like. I put it all in like a Google document and I just like put in a bunch of stuff, right? Like, like, oh, I like this, I like this. Um, nostalgic, right? We were, <laughs> We, we we spent so much time just searching things together. <laughs> um, yeah, Dollar Master helped out a lot. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I think I would say I would suggest think of something. Can you see the mood board? No, no, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I've already broken immersion too much. Um, <laughs> Um, but, but I would say if you want to land on an aesthetic, think of th something that you like, like what makes you happy? What is something that sparks joy for you? Because it's going to have to keep sparking that joy for, for a while if you're committing to something like this, especially if you're committing to commissioning a, a, a live 2D model. Um, so say, th think of something that makes you happy. Like maybe you like, maybe you like boba, maybe boba makes you really happy. And I don't know, like maybe you like yellow, like you like lemons, you like lemons. And so you <laughs> make like a lemon boba themed thing and you like find like a cute lemon pattern that you like and you were like, oh, I want to put that on like a cute little blouse. And then uh, like, oh, I want to have a, I don't know. Oh my God, like one of those like tall, like tutus. But then like, it's like folded over and then in the bottom of the tutu are like these like big puff balls of like bobas, like imb embedded in the, the toll. Wait, 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 wait. Am I creating a really cute VTuber right now? Am I creating uh, an OC do not steal? Wait, this might be, on I might be onto something. OC do not steal but <laughs> I'm making an idea for someone in live time, right? And then just go to Pinterest and look up lemon things and boba things and 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 uh, different like cute hairstyles and stuff and just throw a bunch of stuff together to sort of create an aesthetic that you like. Um, that's kind of what I did. And like throw, make a color scheme. Should you just walk around in tights? You like pro wrestling, should I just walk around in tights? It, I, I, that's up to you. If you would like to do that, absolutely live your best life. 
Ash says, I just randomly stumbled on mine while trying to make lore for myself and the crew. Nice. Lemony Melanie. That'd be cute. The lemon girl, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think to land on an aesthetic, just think about things you like and just search random pictures. Because I found I found visually pictures, pictures were more um, helpful for me than anything. Just like trying to find a visual reference and then being like, oh, we can kind of, we can take this part of that and then put this part of that into there and sort of mash it all together the best way. And sometimes your first idea isn't going to be the one that sticks. And that's fine. That's, that's, that's the fun part of, that's the fun part. Things are always changing. Thanks for that question. That was a good question. You're drawing that nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our next question is from King Sora 08. Thank you, King Sora, for your question. King Sora asks, hey, I'm a new VTuber. I was curious how to go about finding someone to make a model or a marketplace to buy pre-made ones. Excellent question. Excellent question. Um, so there is a market, there are a couple of places where you can buy pre-made models. Um, so if that's what you're into, if you just want to get a pre-made model to get started, that's a great, that's a great uh, thing to do. That's a great way to get started. Um, so let me go over here again. Let's see. This, on the, on the document here under Live 2D Models, this is a Discord server called VTuber Market. This is a place where there are people who are open for commissions. So they can make, part, they can, um, if you want to commission them to create your own design, then this is where you could go. You can meet somebody, you can see all their um, advertisements for what they have, you know, what the kind of work they do, um, and then potentially ask them if they would work with you to, to create a design or to, to create your VTuber. Um, and then there's also this website, which might be, oh yes, if you would like a link to this document, this, this document is right here. Thank you, thank you, Zalea, thank you. <laughs> um, so VTuber Market is a, is a place where you can go to, to see a bunch of uh, people who are open for commissions for your uh, custom model. But if you go to this website here at Nijima, Nijima is a marketplace where it's all in Japanese. There might be a little bit of a barrier. Um, if you want to change, I think you might, Google Translate might be able to work. Oh, it works pretty good, actually. Oh, it works really well. I never used that. Okay, wait, all right, no, this is good. I'll just do it this way for you guys. Um, so Nizima is like a market kind of, a marketplace. You can search for, for illustration work or you can search for live 2D models. You're probably going to be looking for live 2D models, eh? Um, if you're on this website. And then you can um, look through here. Oh, look how good this Google Translate works though. Wait, I'm kind of, I'm kind of stunned. I was just... <laughs> I'm kind of stunned. Um, this website here has pre-made models for you. You can buy you can buy pre-made models from this marketplace. And some of them, like these, the ones that say one out of one, this means that there's only they're only selling one. So it's not like this is a model available for everybody to buy um, on mass, right? Like this is one. This, this you buy this model and it belongs to you, right? Um, let's wait for it to load. Is it gonna load? Hello? Yeah, and then you can you can even play with the model in live 2D here. You can see what it looks like if you drag your mouse around when it moves. This one's super cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Wait, I love this model. Wait, I'm gonna buy this model. Nobody else buy it. <laughs> Just kidding, um, but but you buy it and you buy it, you get all that data, you get the whole model and it's yours and it's very quick and it'll be very quick and easy for you to get that. Um, if you aren't looking for one that is, you know, if you're not looking for one that you that you can, because you, these are these are expensive because you're buying it to be the only person that can use it, right? If you're looking for something cheaper to start out, you can go with something like this one, which is available for anybody to purchase. Um, and come on, why is it loading so slow? So you can buy this one for considerably cheaper. This one's like what, 35, 3,500 yen is like what, 30, $30 or so? I don't know, I don't know math, <laughs> $30. <laughs> I 
which is pretty cheap for a model, hey? Um, and it's a really cute little model here. You can find lots of different models on Nijima like this, like this. There's some that are customizable too, um, which are really good to get started if you want to, um, you know, if you're, if you're just looking to, if you're just looking for, for something to get started, about 26 and a half dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Xanthos. <laughs> And then you can change, you know, if you if you are looking specifically for uh, a girl model, a a boy model, so you only want like a boy model, you can click that and have you can filter your results by that. Um, but then there's another cool thing about this website where in addition to having these pre-made models that you can buy and it's already done, um, or like these other models where you can you can just have uh, excuse me. Uh, a model that anybody can buy, right? Um, you could also go over to Order Made. Order Made. Hold on. Let me put it in English. Maybe you'll be able to. Oh, maybe you can't even see because of the way it pops up. If you click up next to the top logo here, under next to the search bar where it says this this the work here. If you go down to Made to Order, um, and then search Made to Order, then hold on. I didn't mean to put a plus sign in there. <laughs> then it will, it will list all these artists who have um, made to order. <laughs> One made, please. One made, please. And it will say like the uh, live 2D, they'll do the 250,000 yen for this person. This person is 55 to 110,000 yen. And you can sort of look at there, you can look at this person's profile. This person, this, this person specifically will do, let's see, they'll do Japanese and English, but they'll do it with the translation function. So even if you don't speak Japanese, you can still commission these artists. Some of them will be, um, some of them will be able to, uh, you know, they'll, they'll accept the automatic translation if you do, if you, you know, you don't have to speak Japanese to order the models from some of these artists. I would check to make sure that they say that, that they would be able to help you in English, um, but, yeah, and you can see if you like all their other work, you can send them a message uh, with, it, it tells you what you get. You get all these different expressions and then it costs this much to get other expressions. So this is a good place to, uh, to look for a model. This is honestly pretty cool. I wasn't really sure how to go about commissioning for a model. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the USDTN is pretty nice. It is pretty nice right now. Um, one other thing I will say, though, in addition to these resources for commissioning a model is I would go, I think Twitter on its own, Twitter is a very good place for just getting a feel for the creators that are out there, for, for the artists, for the people who will do the rigging. Um, if there is a, a VTuber with a model that you admire, check who, usually in a VTuber's profile, they will have um, it written like mama or papa. And you can click that to um, click that credit to follow that person, the the creator, the artist, the rigger, and um, see if they have commissions open, or like wait and follow until they have their their waitlist opened or whatever. Um, because I think that Twitter Twitter is a great place, a great resource to just find. Um, to find artists who are open for commissions. Sometimes I'll just type in, I'll just type in commissions, VTuber commissions, and just scroll and see what comes up just to see what kinds of awesome things artists are creating out there. Um, and Twitter is a big, a big place for VTubers and for um, VTuber related artists and creators. So I would definitely use, use Twitter as a, as a resource as well, um, even without necessarily going to the, the VTuber assets or VTuber, uh, you know, like accounts dedicated to that. The prices hurt to see, but the models are really well made and looks nice. Yeah, the prices are a bit high, but that's, that's, it's a lot, a lot of work goes into, um, goes into VTubing. Oh, and for some of you who might not know, I don't know if you, <laughs> I don't know how familiar you all are with VTubing and how, how the models work. In here for this Nijima, I believe that these will include the illustration and the rigging, right? 
but sometimes if you, especially if you what i see on twitter like artists who commission on twitter they will be separate people like people per, the same person might not create the art and then rig the models you will have two separate people sometimes to um, one person who will draw the art and have it all separated out onto all the different layers and have it ready for the next person who will actually make everything move and connect all the pieces in a way that makes sense so that your your model will be will be moving accurately on the screen right um, so keep that in mind that might that you that you might need to have uh, two separate people working on your your model if you do get one custom made <laughs> Fiverr or Etsy has many options too. That's true. I did put that on my resource list here. I put Fiverr and Etsy. Now Fiverr in particular, I would be a little bit careful because sometimes on Fiverr, I've, 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 heard, I've heard tell of people putting up work that is not actually theirs, that they did not actually do and they are just trying to, to, to get your money, might, might be scamming. But um, I, would just, I would just look at the people, look at their, look at their models, see if they're consistent art, see if you can follow them to their, any, other social, any other socials, see if their names pop up elsewhere under that same credit. Um, yeah. Fiverr doesn't have the best quality control either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just be be careful. Fiverr is a, it can be a great resource. I've definitely I've used Fiverr for things in the past, so um, I don't knock it at all. But um, I would just be I would just be careful. <laughs> Etsy is actually where I found <laughs> Etsy is actually where I found my my uh, model my model uh, creator <laughs> Kudo Box Studio. I found them on Etsy when I was searching. So <laughs> that's I think Etsy is is uh, is a pretty decent place to Etsy. You can also buy cool stuff like cool um, stream assets and stuff. Uh, so my my little my little coffin icon for subscribers. I got that from Etsy too. <laughs> They did a great job. Thank you. I think they I think I look very beautiful. They did very they did a very good job making me. <laughs> oh Mike, you started with a booth model. Similar to a site for art, there's a huge selection of pre-made 3D models too. Yes, I have booth on here too. Yeah, booth is a great place. Booth is another Japanese website, but you can definitely search booth for um, some models for assets. Oh god, there's feet. Why are they showing feet? Don't put the feet on my screen. Don't show me the feet. No. I hid them. Please don't look. Please don't look at the feet. <laughs> yeah, they have 3D models here. Oh, look how cute these little models are. They're very cute. No freet. No freet. Yes, always quality control. It's your money. Make sure that you are getting, getting, you are paying something, you're paying for something that is a quality that you would accept. Because a lot of this stuff is not a small investment. <laughs> Captain, my innocent eyes. I am so sorry for showing you feet on on Twitch.com, Twitch.television. <laughs> I have to stay off Etsy. They have too much. Etsy is a dangerous place. Maybe I shouldn't have put that on here. Maybe I'll just cross it out. <laughs> But yeah, those are the places where I would look for um, for all those different resources there, for all all these different sites to to just look around, you know, just see what's out there. What if there is a model that you might like? Even even me, I just like sp spending time like scrolling and like clicking. Like, what's this model? I like this model. <laughs> Brother in suit. <laughs> but yeah, all these, all the, the, um, this, this document full of all these resources, all these links are really good. I, and they, they've helped me, they helped me from the beginning and I still, I still use them to this day. So let's continue with our, our, our lesson. Let's see. Oh yeah, wait, wait, where was the last one? Oh, this is with King Sora. I'm a new VTuber. I was curious how to go about finding someone to make a model. Yeah, well, I went over. I went over all those options. Hopefully, hopefully, if you are uh, looking, then those links are going to be useful, and you can click around a lot and find find a lot of info. And there are also, I, I would also look out. There are a few. Um, models that are customizable so if it's not one that you like there are a few that you can you can take and you can change uh, you can change the color of the hair you can some of them you can change the outfit um, 
and it's really cool. It's really cool. And that is all for um, it's all for live 2D. For for 3D, for like Vroid, I'm not familiar with that, but I know there's a whole bunch of customization out there for that too. People who will create Vroid models. I know the booth had a bunch of those 3D models as well. Um, I just am not familiar with those. I wouldn't be able to give those resources exactly, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, we have a next question. Next question here is from Avalon. Avalon asks, marketing yourself seems exhausting with Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, Discord. How do you do all of it? Um, I will say that if you're starting out, you only need to do however many, you only need to maintain however many social media platforms that you can. There is no need to necessarily do every single thing if you don't have the time for it. Um, that being said, the way that I manage to um, market across all of those different platforms is by making it easy for myself to repeat. I stick to something very consistent and I make it something that's easy for me to just almost copy and paste across different platforms. Um, so, excuse me, when I make my, um, when, I, when I market myself on Twitter, what I'll do is I will have a thumbnail, a promo image that I tweet out at noon, uh, usually around noon, the day of the stream, so that people can see it for the whole afternoon. People go, you know, scrolling Twitter, be like, oh, oh, maybe Odessa streaming uh, this, then maybe I'll, maybe I'll watch it later. You know, just to try to catch them <laughs> for that. And then once the stream starts, I just quote retweet that, um, so I don't need to make another. You know, I'll, I'll add a couple extra words, but I'm not making another image to promote it again. <laughs> um, and then once I, once I upload that VOD, I upload the VOD to YouTube, I take that promo image and that promo image then becomes the thumbnail for my YouTube video. So I, 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 don't, I don't have to make another thumbnail, it's all already done. Um, and then on, on Google Slides, I make, all of my, I make all of my thumbnails on Google Slides, by the way, Google Slides. <laughs> um, there's like a notes option at the bottom of the slide. And in that is where I will write my stream title. I will write my stream title. I'll plan my stream title ahead of time. I'll, I'll type it in there underneath my thumbnail. Um, so then when it's time for my, my stream on Twitch, I just have to copy and paste that into my stream title over on Twitch. Um, and then when I upload it to YouTube, you guessed it, that stream title becomes the video title. So I, again, it's just the copy and paste, same thing for, basically three platforms there because I, I reused the, 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 the Twitter promo for my YouTube thing. I reused the, uh, Twitch, the Twitch title for the YouTube title. So it's just, if you can make things easy so you don't have to redo things and you can just repeat, then that's better. I think that's really good. Um, then there is like TikTok. Okay, TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. When I make my TikTok videos, that is content that's not just for TikTok. It's also content I put it on my Twitter and I also put it on my YouTube. Um, in YouTube Shorts, I find I, YouTube Shorts it can be hit or miss, but it, sometimes it'll hit, and sometimes the TikTok will hit or miss. But when it hits, it hits. <laughs> um, but again, I make one TikTok and I can post it to I can I can have, I can show it to people on Twitter. I can show it to people who are on TikTok who. TikTok and YouTube who might not necessarily know me because the, the, the algorithms for the short video platforms do the work for you so you don't need to think about making a, a thumbnail that will grab people that will make people, people interested in you you just need to put the video out there and the algorithm just pushes videos out to viewers you just want to have, have content to get in front of eyeballs I think um, and yeah, so when I make a TikTok, it's it's not just for one platform. I, I, I like will reuse the same title for the video on all three things, like in the tweet, in the in the TikTok, on the YouTube short. So doing as much as you can to minimize the amount of work you have to sort of do over is is uh, really helpful for me at least. It's it's <laughs> I wouldn't be able to maintain everything if I had to do like a different video for TikTok, a different video for 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 Twitter. Um, 
you know, a thumbnail and a promo image. Like, because I'm able to reuse those things, it makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, yeah, and then, then the Twitch content becomes the YouTube content. Uh, and then Discord. Discord, I find, is a great platform to actually be able to communicate and connect with your 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 crew um, outside of the stream. So whenever you have time, I, I don't I don't really spend that much time, uh, you know, marketing on Discord. Um, the only really, I mean, I, I might I, I'll put my schedule in in the Discord server when I remember. <laughs> Don't come at me. Don't come at me. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put like my schedule in there. I will sometimes put messages in the announcements for things that are upcoming, like a big project, like this stream I put, uh, I'm requesting, you know, requesting questions and stuff, but I don't daily, I don't do like a daily marketing thing on my Discord because once you're in the Discord, I think you just sort of know when things are good. You're, you're, you're kind of there. You're already there. I don't need to market to you. You're part of the crew, right? <laughs> Speaking of, if you would like to join our Discord, if you would like to join our Discord server, we, we would be very happy to have you hop aboard to our Discord server. <laughs> she never put this week's schedule. Stop it, Ash. Stop it, Ash. <laughs> But of course, if you'd like to join the Discord server, we'd love to have you in the Discord server. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I think the, the the marketing, as long as you can make it repeatable across many platforms, then you're good. One thing I want to get into, though, I want to get into Instagram Reels, too, because it's basically just reposting everything. I'd just be reposting my TikToks and stuff to, to uh, Instagram, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But... Honestly, the more platforms you are on, the more you can sort of spread out, um, then the better it is. Because I, I just want to try to funnel everybody back to Twitch. Twitch is the source, right? Twitch is the source. This is where I'm actually doing the meat of my content. This is where I want people to come. When am I coming on MySpace, you know? I should make a MySpace. Who wants to be on my top eight? <laughs> um... You know, I saw tweets talk about Mixy. Anybody ever have a Mixy account? Do you remember Mixy? <laughs> because apparently there's like a big, like a mass, like like suspension of of Japanese Twitter accounts for using um, third party uh, using the uh, uh, applications that use the Twitter API or something. So people <laughs> people were tweeting like, "Let's go back to Mixy." <laughs> Mixy was like a. Uh, Mixy was like a. I guess it, it, it's. I guess it still exists, but it's not as popular as it once was. Like a while ago, it's a Japanese social media site. <laughs> yeah, you're on Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. That's the holy trio, in your opinion. Yeah, that's really good to have. I think that those are good to have, <laughs> for sure. For sure. And I think having a TikTok in particular was very helpful for for me and uh, using that short form video because. I noticed that this last month, I haven't been, my numbers on, on, on Twitch haven't been as good as they have before. And I was trying to think like, what am I doing wrong? Like, what am I doing differently that, um, that I'm not doing the, 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 I'm not performing the way that I once did. And when I thought about it, it was like, oh, I slacked on TikToks this month. I didn't put out short form videos. I wasn't getting myself out there in front of more people by making more content to get it out there. And I knew I was doing that. I've been tired and I have been not having a lot of time to do that this month, but that's the reason. That's probably, that's probably the big reason. And that's like another reason that if you're not, if you need to make, I, I suggest if you want to see growth, Put your, put your stuff on more platforms than, than Twitch. Don't just grind on Twitch, streaming for hours. Take some of that time, take some of that time away from Twitch, away from constantly streaming and make content and, and put it elsewhere. And that content doesn't need to be new content. It can be recycled content. It can be content from your stream, just a clip that you crop and you slap like a, a, a subtitles on it maybe and just throw it up on a TikTok. That's what I do sometimes. I'll just it's I just put a clip. It, that's what most of my TikToks are, are clips from streams. So just just 
just do that. <laughs> You're gonna be solid. You're gonna get people to see it. Like, even if it's like a, a almost a nothing clip, it could do well for no reason. Like the one, the one that really surprised me was a Yurush de Nyan. Like, I was playing Fall Guys and somebody redeemed a Nyan pirate, and I sang the Yurush de Nyan song really like angrily because I was I was failing at the level. <laughs> And just just like screaming and for some reason that did that performed very well <laughs> for some reason I don't know why um, So you never know what video will hit the algorithm and do well it could it could surprise you So uh, I, I think that if you make a lot of TikTok videos or short form videos on any platform Just keep throwing them at the algorithm and eventually something's gonna something's gonna work probably <laughs> Insta isn't great for advertising. Yeah, I think that Insta might not be great for it, but I know that there's a huge audience there that might not cross over to other platforms, right? And maybe if you have an Insta, you might not have like a YouTube account. You might not watch YouTube that much, or you might not watch other things, but just to have, um, yeah, just to have the <laughs> to have the exposure in front of eyes, maybe somebody will transition and be like, "Oh, I want to I want to to check out this person's uh, streams." You know, maybe one person, and, and even that one person, if one person comes and says hi in the stream, like, "Hey, I came here from TikTok. I am so happy. I am so freaking happy." <gasps> Arashi Yoshi, crew, crew, we are being we are being raided. Crew, we're under attack. <laughs> Two arms, grab the weapons. Captain Arashi Yoshida is here. Thank you so much, Captain Arashi Yoshida. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Avast, avast. How was your stream? What were you streaming? Hold on. Let me, let me, just, let me, let me put a shout out. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dollar Master. All you were doing, Hi-Fi Rush. Thank you. Oh, and thank you for my hat back as well. Thank you. Uh, welcome aboard, Raiders. I am your captain, Vampire Rage Odessa, and today I'm streaming and doing a Q&A session on um, VTubing, um, how to get started as a VTuber, um, my experience as a VTuber creating content, and uh, giving as much advice as you can. You have uh, a lovely hat. Thank you so much, Kalabaza. Thank you. Oh, wait. Xanthos, you stole my hat. You stole my hat. My hat gone. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a fun, it's been a fun stream so far. Thanks so much for thanks so much for coming around. Oh, and Ben and Beds, thank you so much for resubscribing. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the resub. Hold on, I missed a lot of messages while I was ranting. Let me continue. Let me go back here really quick. Um, ben and Beds, you said since I've been missing streams, I just go to the TikTok to see the clips. Yeah. I'm sorry for slacking. I'm gonna get better at it. I will. I got it. I'm gonna set aside more time to to work on on making TikToks because I've honestly uh, TikTok is big. Yeah, <laughs> TikTok is big for for uh, and I think it's good to to have the 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 clips there as well. TikTok was how you found me. Yeah, thanks for finding me from over on TikTok. Thank you. Yeah, Ash, you clipped it. Yeah, you're a good clipper for sure. I, Xanthos says, I found you on TikTok when you sang a song from Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, I did do that. Thanks for coming over from the Phantom of the Opera. It was the captain singing a shanty song was what got me to sub. Thank you, Ben and Beds. Thank you. <laughs> I got to sing more shanties. I got more sh shanties planned. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Do I edit my own clips? Yes, I do edit my own, oh, well, well, yeah. Sometimes I'll use clips that were already clipped by somebody else, but when it comes to like the actual video editing, um, like making the actual TikTok, it's, I do that myself. But I have a good trick for you guys, okay? I'll tell you a trick. Um, I wonder if I have a question that would, uh... you know what, here, here's what I'll do. I'll just show it to you. I'll just show you guys the the, the programs that I, that what I use to make a, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> wait, wait, I was on this question. I was on this question, I was trying to get out of here. And then I ch go to the next slide and I see this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, wait. I need to come back to this. <laughs> I need to come back to this one. I need to wait. Hard hard pivot away from that for a second because I have I have a I have something I want to show the crew. Okay. Okay. It is a website called Combo. Where is it? Combo. <laughs> I use a website called Combo to make my um, to edit my my clips into TikToks. Um, and it's right here in the site. So what you would do is you sign in with Twitch. Actually, I'm afraid to click this right now. Hold on. Let me let me make sure it won't dox me if I do this. Let me let me just quick quick make sure. <laughs> Um, no, it should be fine. It should be fine. Um, let me just show you the way that this works really quick. So this will import all of your clips from your Twitch automatically. So if you have a Twitch, the clip made in Twitch, then it's all it's all gonna be here. And then what I would do is I would take like click a click a clip, and it makes it really easy to edit it. So I already have a couple like like this here, and it will automatically like crop it. You can crop it how you like. So if you want to have like, say you want to have like a circle that looks like this. Crop that, move that over here. You can play the clip. You can move this thing over to here. And then it will just like export, it will it can export right from here. And then you can download the video. And it makes it super easy because you don't have to like actually edit the video. You can edit the video, but you don't have to like go have a program that's really hard to use. It's really easy to do that. Then you can just export this. And then I put it, I'll pull it into another program called ClipChamp to add subtitles to it. And um, it's very user friendly and very, very easy. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I, I had to make it very easy for myself. It's not super customizable. It's not the, it's not perfect looking. Not super professional, but it's easy, and I will only do it if it's easy. I will only do it if it's easy. So that's what I do. I use Combo to make these clips, um, and then I'll use ClipChamp to add subtitles to them, and that's about it. <laughs> so that's what makes it that's what makes it fast and and relatively easy for me to to make to make my TikToks. <laughs> Actually, another thing about it, both the Angry Nyan and Franz were from me. <laughs> Can't wait to get my PC back so I can get back to clipping. I'm very clippable. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate all clips. I really appreciate it because um, it makes it easier for me to, I don't, I, I like to take them and steal your clips and make, make TikToks with it. It makes my life easier. <laughs> okay, well, it was fun. You have to go to work. Goodbye, Ben. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Have a good day at work. Take care. Bye-bye. Editing looks so trippy. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. It's it, at least on on combo. It's very very simple. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, Sensei. I'm late to class. It's okay, Alex. Kaden, you're good. You're good to go. We are. Um, we 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 have a lot of topics to cover still. We have a long way to go, <laughs> I think. And I, I'm sure I can find some ways to stall as well. <laughs> Ahoy! Oh, Noirnit! Uh, is this the Rotting Mind Control mobile game format? <laughs> what? Adding the mobile game under a clip of Family Guy works really well. Huh? Mm. No, it's just the format where, um, at least for that video that I did, it's like, see, because my... My avatar is down here in the corner, but I want it to be in a nice vertical format for a TikTok. So I'll put like myself in like a circle on the top of the screen, and then the rest of the screen of the actual video game, so that you can see you can see what's happening on the screen in a nicer in a nicer vertical format than um, nicer vertical format. <laughs> yeah, that was me playing. Yeah, that was me playing a game at the same time. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just a clip. That's how I make my TikTok clips. I just joined. Thought it was a random clip. No, it was. It was a. It was a random clip from my Twitch channel. But um, if 
you want to check and see what my, my, my TikToks look like, this is my TikTok. So you can see um, most of them are in that similar format. So you can sort of see how it will be like me on the top and then the bottom will be whatever game I'm playing at the time. <laughs> can't pay attention to TikToks without them family guy clips. You know, I some whenever I get like a family guy clip, I absolutely say don't show this to me anymore. I say do not show me anything more from this channel. <laughs> I'm like I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm very I'm not shy about telling the algorithm what I don't like. <laughs> American dad. Yeah, no. I will I would say no, no thank you. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, we have, we, have, we have, I'm sorry, we need to get back to the topic on hand. Um, we need to get back to the very relevant topic here, okay? Um, this is a serious question. We have a serious question from Are You Happy Crew? Um, and it says, why are ogres like onions? Oh wait, I'm sorry, I forgot Arashi Yoshida. I, you got me my hat back. Thank you for my hat back. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> um, why are ogres like onions? There are many reasons. The, the, the reasons have been debated throughout the years, um, but uh, some people some people say that it is because they stink, which is also pretty true. Ogres do stink. Um, some people say it's because when you leave them out in the sun, they go all brown and start spreading little white hairs. I don't know if that's true about ogres. I've never done that to an ogre before, so I'm not sure. But some people have said that. Because uh, they make you cry? Mm, that is another good reason that it could be, uh, that an ogre could be like an onion. Um, but they're smellier than cake? They might be smellier than cake. Yeah, depending on the cake, though. Uh, there might be a smellier cake than an onion. And depending on, I mean, uh, cake smell, sometimes cakes are smelly, but they smell nice, like vanilla. But, but the, the prevailing theory, the prevailing theory for why ogres are like onions um, is that like an onion, an ogre has layers. Now, the question, the question that is then, uh, that, that brings up naturally is why would you not choose something like a, a cake, a cake which has layers? Or, Dare we say, a parfait. But, all in all, it is just simply a fact of life that we, we must accept. At a certain point, the debates don't get us any further in our understanding of, of this universal truth. Uh, we, must simply, we simply must accept that ogres are, indeed, like onions. <laughs> onion cake? I don't know if I would eat an onion cake. Uh, that sounds a little too cursed for your captain. A little too cursed. I love your streams in the comfy atmosphere, but I don't think I can support you anymore. <laughs> oh no. I'm The Amish make onion cakes, I think. Oh. Well, if it's like a scallion pancake, that's cool. A bit of an onion cake for my birthday? Oh wait, we did put onions on the birthday cake. Never mind, I take it back. I put onions on my birthday cake and that was fine. That was very good actually. Um, because it was paired with peaches, peaches and onions on a cake. That That is a good combo. That's a good combo. But I think now it's time to move on to the next question. <laughs> I think we've lingered. We've lingered on this one for long enough. We need to get back on track here. Okay. This is, how do you balance streaming, watching friends and others, Twitter, editing, etc. as far as scheduling? Right, right, scheduling, uh, time management, right, things I'm good at, things I'm very good at. Um, <laughs> honestly, sometimes the I, I don't manage it very well. Sometimes I, I truly don't. Um, I will... <laughs> I've pulled later nights than I should um, trying to get things done whether it's making a TikTok whether it is um, making thumbnails for the next day um, because I do I do I do sometimes not realize what time it is <laughs> you can skip sleep you can do more it's true it's true forbidden shadow clone jutsu I wish I could do a a, a forbidden shadow clone that sounds very helpful 
But but the way that I do this is I, um, I what do I try to do? I try to I limit myself to streaming four times a week, um, so that I have two days. Well, usually I do two weekdays of. Um, I have two weekdays, right, of not streaming to get things done. And then one weekend day of not streaming to get other things done. Um, for watching friends and others, I tend to move my schedule so that I can watch people on either days I have all. I, 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 <laughs> when do I watch? I, I watch a lot of my friends will stream at like times when I'm not streaming so I can watch like maybe while I'm sailing maybe while I'm sailing I can watch like Maid Oleo <laughs> or you know before I stream Savin streams like before I stream so I'll watch him before I stream if I'm streaming that same day um, sometimes it could be hard when it's like friends who stream at the same time as I do um, it's hard to it's really hard to to watch everybody that I want to watch. Um, so it's not realistic for me, to, for, for anybody to watch every single stream of anybody. Um, so <laughs> it's okay. And sometimes I can only pop in for a little bit just to say hi and watch for a bit and then be like, gotta go bye. And just, you know, I think just being able to, to watch for a little bit makes me happy. <laughs> Simple answer you get people like DM and the crew to bully you into a decent schedule. That's true. That's probably true. Yeah. Mm. I do have to be bullied into, into sleeping. I lurk in so many streams for like 20 minutes then leave. Yeah, that's like, that's, 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 that's streaming culture, I think. Just lurk, lurk, observe, and then realize, oh my god, I gotta go. I have, I have no time. <laughs> Do I like pennies? Ahoy, ahoy, Captain Unias. Do I like pennies? Of course I like pennies. Of course, they're, they're treasure. They're treasure. But also it's kind of wild that it costs more money to make a penny than a penny. <gasps> thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you for the bits. Oh my gosh, the individual bits. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. This is going to be going on forever. Thank you. <laughs> a penny rain oh wow thank you <laughs> it's very funny there's so many I can't even count at this point thank you <laughs> um, but yeah for my for my schedule like I said I tried to make it easier for myself thank you so much for the bits Captain Unias thank you Try to make it easy enough as I can to make things repetitive so that I don't have to spend too much time redoing things. Like I said, for, for Twitter and the thumbnails and the promo images and then the TikToks and everything, I try to make it all as as uh, one stop, one do it once and then repeat it a bunch of times as I can to make it easier for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm always, I, 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 I'm always on my phone for having something playing on my phone whether I'm like cooking or or working on stuff, I'm usually watching something or have something on in the background at any point to try to 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 watch other streamers or watch other YouTube videos or get in my my Netflix or other you know whatever other content consumption I do. <laughs> Multitasking, baby. But yeah, I am um, one thing for product productivity though. Oh, the, the Spanish radio on when cooking? Nice. I have a couple things on my um, list here for productivity um, to help with keeping track of things that you need to get done. That could help with um, you know time management as well, so you can see what needs to be done and what days you can sort of schedule that time to be done. Um, there's a website called Trello, which is almost like a Jira board, almost, but like it's maybe like maybe it's like Jira light. <laughs> Where you can have things like in different categories, like um, you can have different boards for for different tasks and different categories, like like to do, currently doing, or and then done, or whatever whatever kinds of categories you like to like. And it's easy to drag and color code your your things over. Yeah, here's like a yeah, 
drag these cards over to do doing done it's very it's 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 nice to to it, it feels nice to drag things over to the done column <laughs> um, you can also add things like deadlines um, color coded to different categories of activity um, there's also notion notion is a really popular one I started using it a little bit hold on I started using it a little bit but um, it's kind of overwhelming because it feels like you should be I feel I feel like it, it takes a it's gonna take a while for me to feel like I'm I have everything the way exactly I want it because right now it kind of just feels like really default for me and I've seen people have adorable notions like their notions are so cute um, and they look so productive and I just haven't gotten mine to that point of aestheticness yet so uh, but there's lots of resources if you like Google if you like search on YouTube like notion um, and like how people use notion then you'll find lots of like videos of people saying how they make it work for them really well um, so maybe I should maybe I should take my own advice and look that up but Notion is a good place for, I have a couple checklists of to-do lists on there that I, I, I refer to, to, to get things done. Um, and then another productivity thing, I put this on the spreadsheet here because I use it, mm, I don't know if you're going to use it, I use it for, um, what one do I use? I use this one, this number nine, the one year expense tracker with category selection, one tab per month. Um, I use this to mark my expenses for VTubing. So I used this last year when I when I bought my PC. Um, the stream is not sponsored by Trello. It's not sponsored by anybody. No sponsor, baby. I got no sponsors right now. Um, Trello, if you're listening though, I could, we could make it happen. We could make it happen. <laughs> but you can change, like you can make a different categories for your spending. Um, and then each month you can add in each expense, the category, how much you spent, and it will like auto populate these cool graphs. Um, and it will have like a, a, a line graph here for how much you spent and how much you, um, how much you earned and how much you spent per category. If you, if you're, if you're, trying to do this as a business and uh, track your expenses for tax purposes <laughs> that's only if you not not gonna be for everybody if you're just doing it casually but I just decided to put it there because it's something that I use myself and it was helpful to me <laughs> and I started my I started my taxes yeah taxes grody grody I started it and because I had everything here because I had all my numbers right there um, it makes things easier for me so I don't have to go back and do it later. So <laughs> just a, just a suggestion. That's all. Okay. Um, and that is my productivity, uh, chat. Okay. Let's move on. Next one. Next slide. Next slide. What's our next one? Oh, this one is from anonymous and anonymous asks, how do I get past the initial no viewer hump? You're a really skilled singer, which is how I found you initially, but I don't really have an artistic skill like that. I know I need to make myself visible to potential viewers, but I have no clue how. Okay. The no viewer hump is something that a lot, that it, 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 it is very common um, for, for streamers to have a hard time getting over that sort of, over that hump. Now for me, well, again, what, what I've, I've already touched on this before, but I think that making content outside of Twitch is going to be really important for, um, for, for channel growth because Twitch does have a way, like they have their recommended tab on the side, right? So it might recommend your stream only while you're live. When you're only for the hours that you are live, will Twitch ever even think for a moment to show you to any other user. There is no discovery if you're not live on Twitch. And even when you're live on Twitch, you are, it takes, if you, if you look at your suggested streamers, they're always, they're not, you hardly are ever gonna see a suggested streamer that you don't know with less than 10 viewers. At least in my experience, I hardly ever see anybody with less than 10 viewers. And is that, that that's that's 
that's just because Twitch is not super great at promoting on its own platform. So you really need to rely on other platforms to bring people in, right? To try to uh, get people. Oh, you got one with nine right now? Wow. Interesting. See, I feel like that's so rare for me to see that. Maybe, maybe we have different algorithms. Maybe, I don't know. Let me check mine. Let's, let's see what I have on mine. Let me check in another tab so I'm not like exposing myself. Nope, nope, the lowest one I have is 13 right now. Um, but <laughs> but still, it, it's, it's, not, it's not great at promoting. The lowest you ever got was seven. Hmm. Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to, you need to, if you want to grow and get more people to watch, my suggestion would be to, to take some of that time that you would have spent streaming and use that to maybe just take some time to make clips from your stream, make clips from, from funny moments or even like record new clips for TikToks with like a, with a, a trending sound. I don't know. I've never, I've never done like the trending sound TikToks before. I don't really know how they work, but I know that lots of people have success doing them. I don't know. But, um, I, I would start with content that's already there. Funny moments from your stream. Um, even if you're not, even if you don't have like an artistic skill, you don't sing, you don't draw, you whatever, you don't need that. If you just if you just find moments that you think are funny in your stream, or maybe like a really cool a cool like I don't know gamer move. I don't know how gamers do things. Maybe you maybe you uh, get a double kill bot lane, and as your as your wife gives you. Uh, as your brawless wife brings you a sandwich with chips not asked for <laughs> maybe then if you have a, a cool moment like that on your stream you just <laughs> you you clip that and then you make it into a TikTok and then you put it on TikTok take time after your streams to make extra content for other platforms make the TikToks, put it out on on Twitter, add a couple hashtags, add a bunch of hashtags on TikTok, put it on YouTube, um, and be consistent about, about that. Um, put in your, you know, on your Twitch, like I stream this many days a week, put your Twitch profile in your main profile. Put it in, don't put your like, here, here's my suggestion. Make your Twitch, if you want more, if you want to grow your Twitch, make that your main URL. Make that your link on TikTok. Don't put a card link, not a link tree link. Put it your Twitch link. One click for someone to get to your Twitch, to see your content there, to follow you there. Because I know for me, if I see somebody's profile and I have to click to a link tree and then click to their Twitch, that's like a barrier for me. Maybe I'm lazy, but that's a barrier for me. I want somebody to just click directly to my Twitch channel because that's where my main that's where my main content is. So that's why my main link on my twi Twitter profile is my Twitch. Hi King Sara, ahoy, welcome. I answered your question earlier. <laughs> yeah, make sure you got content on those other platforms before sending people there. I forget that Captain can be cultured. What do you mean you forget I can be cultured? I know some stuff about some stuff. The the five T's. Take time to TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> take time to TikTok. That's funny. <laughs> ahoy, bet. Ahoy. Well, not even just TikTok, but like Twitter, um, YouTube, whatever, whatever other platforms. You just need to you need to diversify your your internet presence to try to bring people in, try to bring people over. <gasps> Storm right a skeleton, ahoy! Hello, Pepper, remember me? Ahoy, I remember! Welcome! Thank you so much for the follow! <laughs> I do have a skeleton inside of my body. You can see part of it sticking out in my mouth here. See? Eh. They're called teeth. Eh. <laughs> yeah, you have to rewatch. Yeah, I answered it earlier. I'm sorry. A link tree to a beacons in. Wait, a link tree? Into a beacons, into a Twitch. What? What? My my brain hurts. I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> am I reading? Am I reading that right? What is a beacons? Is it another link tree? 
We keep running into each other. We do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say, I would say, get your, if you want to get over the no viewer hump, get your, make sure you have content, get that content out there, link back to your Twitch directly, and have a consistent schedule with your Twitch. Even if you only stream like once a week, make sure that you say, I, I'll stream, uh, I stream at seven o'clock on Tuesdays or something, like whatever, whatever it might be, um, just so that people have an expectation of when you're going to be, to be streaming, right? Um, not, not like, oh, they streamed, they streamed, four times in December and random days and then two days in January, you know, like if you, if you want to sort of grow, consistency is going to probably be key um, for, for, for that kind of growth. It's another Linktree type website. <laughs> the Linktree only links to the beacon, which only links to the card, which all then will take you to the, the, the Twitch. <laughs> But those are those are my those are my um, bits of advice, things that I've tried to do. Um, also, initially, another thing, another thing, which is kind of like I'm talking in terms of like marketing yourself, but in terms of having people to come watch your stream, make friends who are going to come watch your stream. Like, make like if you have, um, I I. I was able to, for my debut stream, I had, I was very lucky to have a lot of support for my debut stream. And a lot of it came from like friends and like communities I joined, like people, like a bunch, had a bunch of support from a bunch of pirates in this pirate server, pirate VTuber server. Um, and then a bunch of siblings from my, that we shared the same uh, Kurobak studio who made our models. Um, and and just people I had met on on Twitter, other friends I had, uh, you know, just trying to network, watching a lot of other people to sort of network, watch them, become friends. They'll come to, maybe they'll come to hang out at your stream too. Um, just starting out with that sort of is, uh, I think it's underrated. <laughs> I think that making friends and watching each other and supporting each other um, is is a really healthy way to do things. Um, and meeting new people, meeting new people can be awkward. It can be hard. Um, another way to try to do that is maybe after your stream, raid into somebody new. Like look for, look around uh, in, in the VTuber tag, somebody who might be playing the same game you just were. Um, maybe they're really cool and you want to be friends and you uh, hang out after that, you know? So I think that's that's another good way to, to uh, to get people to to watch your stream and to make friends and have fun because that's really that's if I if I wasn't having fun I wouldn't still be doing this <laughs> it's important to have fun it's important to have fun okay next question is from Ash thank you Ash for the question let me have some water before I read it one second okay. Ash asks as a VTuber slash PNG tuber, I feel like you have a lot more keybinds and scenes than a normal flesh tuber. How do you balance using these and playing games or whatever you're doing on stream? Good question. Um, so for me, what I have is I have a stream deck, which is a piece of hardware that has a bunch of buttons on it, a bunch of programmable buttons. And it, uh, so I don't have to have a, like a keybind on my like, um, number pad or anything to, to to toggle expressions or to change scenes or whatever. I can just press buttons or like to mute my microphone or to add reverb to my microphone. I just have uh, a stream deck, which is, what is it? Three by five buttons. Let me show you a picture of my stream deck. Yeah, so this is basically, well, mine looks a little different than this, but this is basically what I have here, um, where all these buttons are like programmable and there's a lot of integration with other apps. So I have some buttons that are programmed with VTube Studio. Um, so I can click a button and I, I just click my, I have a button that I click that will take my hat on, take my hat off. Um, I have some things that are programmed for, um, 
for OBS where I can swap over from my just chatting screen over to this screen. Um, I even have some buttons for like Twitter. I can change my Twitter name. Maybe I'll change my Twitter name right now. I'll change it. I just changed my Twitter name. <laughs> um, there's some launching buttons. There's, I have a button for, oh, I have a button to put a bunch of hearts in the chat. <laughs> Um, I think this thing, this stream deck, not sponsored whatsoever, not sponsored, but um, if I didn't have this thing, I would not be having nearly as good as an experience, uh, uh, nearly as good an experience streaming. Use that one more often. I never use it. <laughs> I, I got it because when I was first testing out my stream, I wanted to see, I, I wanted to see if it would work. Um, and I also wanted to just have a bunch of emotes pop up on the screen, on the screen like that. <laughs> so I put that, I put that there, um, but I never use it, never use it. Um, but yeah, I recommend if you are a, if you're getting a live 2D model, this is very convenient. Even if you don't have a live 2D model, it's very convenient for, for swapping scenes, for, you can make it play sounds, uh, you can... There's a lot of different things you can play with and lots of lots of possibilities for your stream deck. Um, I think Sovin uses one too, even though he doesn't have a live 2D model um, for like sound bites and stuff. Um, and these things go on sale sometimes. Like this one, let's see, it says it's 150. Sometimes they'll go on sale for, this is what mine looks like. Oh yeah, it was refurbished. Um, when they go on sale, it's pretty good. I recommend uh, checking it out if, you, if it's something that you need. Would have been funny if you got timed out for spamming. Right. <laughs> right. You can't time me out. It's my own stream. It's my own stream. Look at this pro over here rocking, rocking a stream deck. My stream deck is a spare keyboard that I took all the buttons that weren't keyboards out. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't have... I, 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 was, I bought my little stream deck. I'm, I'm very happy with my little stream deck. And the buttons are also like you can choose the uh, yeah, if it works it works work with what you got like I said before if you've got it use it um, but I use this and it is very convenient you can change the icons on it too to make it very easy to see what it is the button does and you can also I have like multiple pages I can go back and forth between the pages to find the right thing so you can it's a, it's a very convenient thing but I don't think I'd have as good an experience streaming without it, honestly. <laughs> you don't need it. It's not necessary by any means, but it just makes it very, very convenient to, to uh, do all the different keybind things. Time to rig your Wii remote. Yeah, yeah get your Wiimote going. Get your Wiimote going. <laughs> Tempted to get one for non-stream purposes sometime. You can use it for non-stream purposes. Like you can connect it to Discord and use it to do Discord things. Like you can mute your Discord mic. I think you, I don't, there's lots of different things that aren't stream related that you can do. I even saw <laughs> something that made me filled with, filled with dread. <laughs> They have Teams, they have Microsoft Teams integration on the Steam Deck now, on the Stream Deck now. So you can use your, your Stream Deck to add emoji reactions in Microsoft Teams. Isn't that great? Isn't that great news for our crew uh, Microsoft Teams chat for more efficient collaboration and synergy? OMG, now I want one. The ultimate use, right? See, <laughs> now I'm selling it. No, not sponsored, but I mean, they got that Microsoft Teams integration. <laughs> Should have led with that. <laughs> uh, you should see, you should see the tweets, the tweets that Elgato made about it. Elgato was like, <laughs> now we have Microsoft Teams integration. And you should see the replies, the people being like, I love this. I use this every day. It makes my Microsoft Teams chat so nice. And then Microsoft Teams official account replies being like, happy to hear that. Always a joy to use Microsoft Teams or something like that. Like <laughs> It's so cringe. <laughs> I'm never gonna get sponsored by Elgato or Microsoft now. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. It's so funny. 
You used teams for college once. Yeah. <laughs> I need to I, I need to deactivate it on this. I don't even know why. It came pre-packaged somehow with my windows and I can't get rid of it. It's always open. I never want to use Teams. Please get it off of my PC. Thank you. Spam those emotes in work team meetings. Exactly. They got morbed. <laughs> Okay, okay. So yeah, that's what I use. I use my stream deck. Very, very nice. They have bigger stream decks. They have mini stream decks. Um, really nice piece of hardware. Next question is from Lusty Cow. Any tips to help grow your community slash where you should put content? I think you should put content in as many places as you can as many places as make sense to you because the more places there's content the more eyeballs you're in front of the more of a chance that somebody will want to learn more about you join your community you know in, in whatever way it is if you're looking to specifically grow a community though um, I think I think having something that would bind your community together is, is going to be good so like what do you what 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 do you, if you're if you're a streamer what do you want your community to be like what kinds of people do you want to bring together what kind of energy do you want that to have what kind of identity would you like for your your community to have together you want to project that in what you do right like for me i want to i i i want people who have like good senses of humor <laughs> i think i've collected a lot of people with pretty good senses of humor um even if there's like a little bit of like surface bullying, which is just VTuber culture, um, an undercurrent of, of actually being caring for each other, um, kind people, <laughs> uh, and a, a welcoming atmosphere is what I want to put to a community. So that's what I try to put out. That's at least the energy I try. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking and like not making sense. And you guys are like, oh, Dessa, what are you talking about? You're so, you're, you're just a mushy, you're just being mushy for no reason. You're totally not like that. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's what I it's what I think. It's what I think in my heart, okay? It's what I think in my heart and don't make fun of me. Um, so I, I I tried to make it, a, I tried to pre present myself as I am in my heart. I'm, I think I'm a caring person. I think I am. Uh, and I try to make sure that I can bring that together to my community, right? <laughs> um, but other than that, I guess having making sure there is a place for your community to grow too, whether that be like a Discord server, probably gonna be a Discord server, <laughs> probably realistically, that's where communities grow a lot on the internet right now is in a Discord server. Um, and make sure that you have a, you know, you, you, that, that you have a good energy there. If there's any like bad things go, any bad energy, just you might have to do some community management. <laughs> it might be awkward, but be like, hey, uh, you can't, you, you can't, you can't do that in the server. Uh, make sure that we keep the vibes checked. <laughs> you want to make sure that your community is going to be a welcoming place for anybody that, that, that comes in, right? And that can be awkward sometimes, but it's it's for the best going going on um so where to where to put content i talked about where to put content and put content everywhere put it on tiktok put it on youtube put it wherever link back to where you want to grow the most do you want to grow on twitch do you want to grow on youtube put that as your main link but also make sure that you put your discord there for once people I feel like that's the natural progression, kind of. So I feel like, for me, the progression that I kind of want is I want someone to discover me on another website, discover me on Twitch, on on, on, on Twitch, on, on like TikTok or YouTube, finally get to Twitch, where the meat of my content is usually on Twitch. Some people watch my VODs on YouTube, that's great too. But once people are watching, once people are invested, then they want to be a part of your community, that's when you can bring them into the Discord. Put the Discord link in the in the chat. Ask people to join. Then they'll be in the the server. You can chat. You can make sure that you're you're still like keeping conversations going, <laughs> so it doesn't get too too stagnant. Um, I guess. Um, and 
yeah, I think that if you sort of try to grow a community that way from from people who are already interested in what you're doing, then you could have uh, a nice little place for everybody to call, go and hang out. And I also think that having a kind of like identity is also kind of fun too, right? Like you want people to want to be part of the community, a part of whatever the club is. Um, so for me, in, in this case, it's like you all are part of the crew, part of the vampire crew on the Astoria, right? Um, other other VTubers might have other other cute little fan names for, for their groups. You want to become a part of the, uh, like Kuanano has the bug bites, right? Or you want to be, uh, maybe you're, like for Hollow Live, the tempura. You want to be a tempura. <laughs> Or for hollow stars, rather. Um, but yeah, like it's, it's nice to have like a, a community identity like that to uh, bring everybody together. That could also be a good thing to, to, to think about. And I think that's really common for VTubers too, to already have sort of like a fan name or uh, something like that established too. <laughs> VTubers and YouTubers too. YouTubers always have their, um, their, their fan base name. Yeah. Are you suggesting a theme? A theme like for for your community? Yeah. I think I think it's fun to have a theme. I mean, it's kind of cringe to have a theme, but but it's it's everything about being a VTuber is cringe, so you just got to accept it. <laughs> My favorite fan base name is Greg. Are you Greg? I am also Greg. I am also Greg. <laughs> <laughs> wow we are the fastest growing army on the internet don't look that up but uh <laughs> it's a great idea yeah everybody has that little you want to make people you know, make it like a club people want to be a part of right it's not cringe it's chuny therefore it's awesome ah it's chuny if it's chuny then it's good I am cringe, but I am free. VTubers probably. <laughs> exactly. Ahoy, patchouli. <laughs> exactly. We have to be cringe, but we also are free. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Thanks, Lusty Cow, for that question. Um, this one is from Ash. Ash asks, as a VTuber slash PNG tuber, I feel like, oh, wait. Am I going crazy? I feel like I answered this one. I feel like I just answered this one. I'm not gonna answer it again. Stop trying to get sneaky and adding more, adding more, more, more questions in here, Ash. Huh? 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 What are you doing? Trying to get, trying to get more attention? Trying to get more attention from streamer? Not gonna happen. Totally couldn't have been a mistake on my end or anything. Mm -mm. Nope, couldn't have been. Literally, what is happening? Literally, what is happening? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we getting questions again? Maybe I'm clicking wrong. Maybe I'm just simply clicking wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they're in there again. <laughs> I don't find VTubers cringe. I genuinely love the idea. Plus, loving Muppets, I feel like it's the same thing. <gasps> True. Wait, am I a Muppet? Am I a, am I a, am I a Muppet? That's awesome. Hmm. <laughs> It's not stream without scuff. Yeah, that's true. Yep, a little bit of scuff. I am a Muppet. <gasps> I don't mind being a Muppet, but I feel like my mouth is too small to be a Muppet. I feel like my nose, my nose is definitely too small to be a Muppet. I feel like Muppets have like huge honkers, like, like Waluigi. And now I'm feeling, I'm feeling so conscious. I need a new, I need a bigger nose. I need a huge, I need a clown nose now. Hold on, do I have a clown nose I can put on? Hold on one second, one second, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, don't, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Are you still there? Don't leave. Don't leave! Ah! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> now I can truly be myself. Now I feel I can truly be myself. 
<laughs> now we're good. Oh, good night, good night, Zalea. Good night. Thanks for coming. Sweet dreams. To get good rest. Get good rest. <laughs> Um, how is class going? Class is going swimmingly. Uh, I think everybody's, everybody's doing very well. Um, everybody passed the pop quiz. And now I have a big nose like Waluigi. We're all good. Okay, our next question is from Ash again. How important do you think having some type of persona or bit, your vampiracy, for example, is to drawing in an audience? Wow, what a great question to go from the last one. Um, okay, so I think... Hmm... I worked... I, I, I thought that having a bit was would be important for, for me. I thought, personally to me, I wanted to have a bit of theatrics to what I was doing, right? Like a bit of drama, bit, something a little bit extra I could really play up. So that's why I went with this. <laughs> um, and because I see a lot of other YouTubers who do that too, they have like a, a theme like that, that they can sort of, uh, that they can, they, can, they can commit to, right? Um, but then again, I also see other VTubers who are really kind of just themselves, you know? Like they, they just have, they have a character, but it's not like anything that's super, like, that's super, like a crazy persona. It's just, you know, like the, the, the character design that they have. And they find success on their own without that. So I think it's really up to your own personal preference. Alex says, sometimes I wonder if I wouldn't get too caught up trying to keep up the persona and lore. <laughs> yeah, some people go a lot, really hard into the lore. Ahoy, Sebastian. Ahoy, how are you? Welcome. Some VTubers do go very, very intensely into lore and thinking about the, the lore and the story behind themselves. And um, sometimes people will write like huge, like, like paragraph after paragraph after paragraph of, of, of stories and stuff, which is great. It's great, it's awesome that you want to be so creative and so in-depth with your lore, but at the same time, it's not necessary to have that much lore to be a VTuber. You don't need any lore to be a VTuber. Like, when I started, I didn't, uh, I didn't have lore. I, I was like, I'm a vampire. Like, my lore was like, I was born as a vampire, but I decided to take up a job as a, a pirate. That was it. Like that was my like, the extent of my lore. <laughs> I was like, and I have a boat, and my boat has a name. And even my my lore hasn't really expanded since then. Um, so if you're if you're stressed about thinking about all the lore and creating a huge story behind your your persona, don't worry about it. I mean, you can certainly have fun with it. You can you can make however long of a story you want. But uh, you don't. It's not necessary to, uh, you know, to be a VTuber. The lore expanded to me being a Muppet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a Muppet today. I'm a Muppet. Serious? You're still figuring out your lore? Yeah, you can still figure it out. You can change your lore too. Like I feel like there have been VTubers who have done like lore drop videos and then. Their other lore drop just isn't consistent with their first one, but it also doesn't super matter. It's just fun. It's just it's just fun, you know. Let's see. Next, Rain Buckets. Ahoy, Rain Buckets. How are you? Rain Buckets says, hmm, "I can only speak for myself, but I checked out the channel at first because of the vampiracy, because it was cool AF. But then I stayed because I liked it here, so it wasn't everything." Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for, for, for that comment and thanks for coming and checking me out and sticking around. <laughs> but yeah, um, I find that maybe if your persona, you, you, it might, the, the, the gimmick might bring somebody into the stream, maybe, it might, it might pique somebody's interest, but it's about your actual streaming that will keep that person or not, right? To retain that person if it, just because like the concept is cool doesn't mean that that is the kind of streamer that person is looking for, right? Um, or the person would, would like to watch. So um, I think to an extent, uh, having a cool gimmick that could 
or like I, guess, I keep saying gimmick, um, but like persona or bit. I guess it's the same sort of same, same sort of thing there. Um, to an extent, it's important, but also if you're it, just being your authentic self and uh, and that 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 will get you far too. I think. If Hololive has taught me anything, it's that your fans will make up half your lore for you. I found that you guys have been making up half my lore for me, too. So, uh, you guys have been making up more lore than I have. <laughs> I feel like when anyone creates a character, you develop its backstory as you go along. That's exactly what I think! No, King Sora, you're so right! Because, because I... I feel that same way with Dungeons and Dragons or like any any ro role play game that I play, where I create my character and I like I'm not super attached to them when I first do my character creation, right? Like I think like, mm, okay, I guess I'll be I guess I'll be a barbarian who is a half orc and uh, I don't know maybe he he oh I get my hat back thank you Sebastian for my hat back um, I don't know. Uh, but then, then once I play a few games, it's like, oh yeah, he keeps bees. Uh, yeah, he has like um, elderly parents that he's worried about uh, as he's going off on this new adventure. Like you get more invested the more you go because the backstory builds. Like as you go, you think about it as you go. I couldn't, I couldn't start from nothing, create a whole backstory, and then commit to it. I gotta figure out who this character is as I go along. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me. Yeah, that's a good question, though. I like that question. Thank you, Ash. What's our next one? Oh, this one is from Spider Pumpkin. Thank you, Spider Pumpkin, for the question. This one says, how could one do a good approach in asking for a collab without sounding like an interested or selfish person? This is... I like this question because it's tricky. Um, so... Asking someone to collab can be, it could be a, for me, it's a social anxiety inducing thing, right? Like, I don't know if I've asked someone to collab who I wasn't like already pretty close friends with before. Um, so uh, it could be tricky. <laughs> but, but here's some tips that I will, I wonder who, <laughs> that spider pumpkin folk. So the uh, so say you want to collab with someone, but you're worried that you you don't want to look like you are just doing it for getting like their for 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 stealing their audience from them. What is think about what why do you want to ask this person to collab with you? Because surely you don't just want to collab with someone for their for stealing their audience from them, from getting, for getting people from their audience, right? You want to collab with someone because you, what, what is the reason? Because you like their personality? Because you think that you, you two have similar interests? You play similar games? Uh, do you enjoy coming to their streams? Is there something that sort of connects you to this person? Even if you don't necessarily talk, if you're not really close, like what is the reason that you want to collab with this person? And why does that relate to your own content? I'm gonna collab with your dog. <laughs> so you want to you want to think about the reason, and if you don't have a good reason that you can really think of, other than like, you know, well, I just I just I just think I would want to. Then don't don't ask. Like I don't know. Like it, it, if you're not sure why you want to collab with someone, and you can't sort of make that clear in your request, then. Think about it a little more, you know? Start, try to think of what, what, <laughs> what, why you actually want to. And then put that in your message when you reach out to them. Um, maybe beforehand, make sure that you sort of have some kind of rapport with them. Don't like reach out to someone you've never, never talked to, you've never interacted in their streams. Make sure that you have like, at least like talked in their stream before. Your name might have popped up in front of them before. Maybe like in, in some capacity. And then maybe, maybe even like raid into them so they have more of a connection with you. They'll remember you more, if, you know, but, uh, and then reach out and be like, hey, I like your stream because of this. 
I would really like to collab with you because I also like this and I think it would be good if we played this game together. Or maybe if they do like a bunch of, they're like, oh, I really like your your stream doing an anime tier list. I really like that. Uh, would you like to come onto my stream? Because I also like anime. We could do like an anime game show together. Like make it something that really connects that you know their content and you have similar content or similar interests then you can collaborate and and sort of combine that together right um don't just sort of go up to someone and be like hi do you want to do you want to collab like for, for <laughs> like without without having any kind of aim or any kind of like connection with that person you know i think that will be that will make you appear genuine right you have a genuine interest you're expressing that genuine interest uh and they'll 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 see that I, I believe <laughs> um, but then on the other hand also don't take if they say no if they if they say no don't take that as don't interpret that as ooh I sounded really I sounded really bad there like I sounded like I was just I was just trying to get clout or whatever because there are many, many reasons why somebody would say no to a collab. <laughs> that has, some of them have nothing, nothing to do with you, nothing to do with your content, nothing to do with the way you ask, nothing to do with your motivations. Um, sometimes it's just their own schedule. Sometimes it is a uh, another kind of conflict. Sometimes they just aren't looking for collabing with new people. It, it's it. Don't don't internalize the <laughs> any, any kind of um, if, if it's turned down. Sometimes it's not even a no forever. It might be a no for now, maybe later. You know. Um, yeah, I'm just saying all this because I've been thinking about asking people to collab with me that make me very nervous, and I've just been hyping myself up and like trying to talk myself into a way away from feeling very stressed about asking. <laughs> so this is all like advice I've just been like running through my own head over and over and over again so maybe this is very personal advice to be giving but that is um that's that's the kind of thought process that I've been having when thinking about asking asking some people to collab <laughs> coming up <laughs> hmm okay let me let me read back the chat I missed a I missed a fair few messages here while I was rambling um, Ash says, whenever my brain creates a character, I have to connect it to a world in some way. That's why when I was becoming slime, I had to make an explanation as to why the slime existed and why they left their environment. Then I had to somehow connect it to Bodessa because I was posting it in the crew lore tab. <laughs> nice, yeah. Well, that's really good to be able to connect. If you have a character, that's one thing, but to be able to connect it to a world that exists makes it feel more real, more grounded, right? more like there are stakes at hand other than just that one character like there there is a world and 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 consequences of the world and and effects that your existence have on the on the environment yeah 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 uh what's next oh oh wait <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I get to do it with a clown nose this time. That's fun. That's really fun. <laughs> Thank you for the Nyan Pirate. Let's see. Sirius says, there's someone I want to approach for a cover collab, but they're super busy and I don't want to bother them. <laughs> Well, I, I honestly think that if there, I mean, I don't think there's harm in asking for a collab. You know, I think that if it's a, if it's, it's a genuine request and you are understanding about, you know, if, if, if the answer is a no, then I don't think there's harm in at least asking, right? Um, because there's a chance that they'd be like, oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, of course. And they'd want to do it. They'd make time in the schedule for it, you know? Um, so I would, I would... I wouldn't, I wouldn't completely write it off. 
No collab with you then? What do you mean? <laughs> Poor brother, I bet they do whatever a spider pumpkin does. Yeah. The story sort of writes itself as we go along. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash, I get it. I get it. I wouldn't stress about asking. Worst someone says is no. Exactly. Exactly. Because I feel like if, if someone... Like, I'm thinking if it were me, like, <laughs> if it were me, and I'm trying to, like, I, again, I've been typing myself up for, like, asking people stuff, so I've been, like, trying to think about what if it were me. Like, if, if somebody asked me to collab, even if I, even if I didn't want to, even if I couldn't do it, I didn't have enough time, if I, if somebody asked me, I would be grateful, especially if it was in that earnest way of, like, connecting my content with what their content was or whatever, then I'd be like, oh, that's so, that's so, you know. I, I'm very honored for the offer and be gracious with, with you know, if, if I had to turn it down. It would be a good thing overall, right? I would think it's a good thing overall to ask at least as long as there is genuine, um, you know, genuine intentions and a, a, a clear like connection between the two kinds of content or whatever, I understand. Um, if, yeah, I, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm thinking in my head. That's my own internalized, uh, internalized brain stuff that I, that I, I, the gymnastics I put myself through to try to <laughs> get over that anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Nyan sensei, thank you. No, Nyarigato to you, Shard there. <laughs> For any new viewers, this happens at least five times per stream. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, the Nyan pirate, I do become a Nyan. Uh, rather, rather often <laughs> on stream. King Swords says, I've never been here for that. That's cute. You never got that before? <laughs> yeah, we get, that's the Nyan pirate. Nyan, Nyan, Nyan. Ash says, no harm in asking. All right, then, oh, Captain, my Captain, when you do me the honor of giving your hand in marriage. <laughs> hmm. I'm taken. Um, I'm sorry, Ash. I'm very honored. I'm very honored, but uh, uh, the the sea is my, my true love. The, the sea. The sea is my true love. Arrange a date with Bubs. Bubs is too busy. I, I think Bubs might be Bubs might be too busy uh, <laughs> uh, dealing with uh, with Satan and uh, you know tormenting people in in heck. <laughs> Five is too many. Five not enough. Five not enough. Thank you, Sora, for my hat back. I don't know what kind of a sacrifice she requires at a demon, but you're willing. <laughs> Mm -mm. Good to know. Good to know. I'll let her know. There are now two types of viewers. Nyan pirate fans and Nyan pirate fans that won't admit to it. Yes, the Nyan believers or the non-Nyan believers. Or the pre-Nyan pre believers. The, 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 the Nyan believers in denial. Mm. Mm. The letter C beats Ash. <laughs> beaten once again by the alphabet. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Okay, I have another. Do we have another another question? I don't know how many slides I have on here. I truly don't remember. Oh! This one is from Nintendo Gamer Gaming. Thank you, Nintendo Gamer Gaming. The question is, just starting out with Twitch, I stream at work a lot where I have not so good internet. Is there a way to optimize my stream where it's not so choppy? Yeah, so for, for the technical things like this, I honestly am not super, super well versed, um, but I know that if you, um, by default, at least for me, by default, what I do is I stream um, at 1080p quality. Um, and so, but when, when you are first starting out on Twitch, like before you get like affiliate, um, Twitch will not necessarily give your viewers the option to lower their quality of video. So if you're streaming at 1080p, everybody's going to have to watch it at 1080p, right? Um, 
even if like for me when i was watching a friend who was streaming uh and he was always streaming at 1080p and i i was on mobile i was on data i was on data and I, I, I couldn't watch it because it would only, it would load everything at 1080p and it wouldn't go any lower and it was so choppy and I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. So I, uh, I didn't, <laughs> I, I, uh, I ended up watching, he was, he was multi-streaming at the time. I watched it on YouTube instead. <laughs> but, but, um, what you could do is you could stream, export your stream not at 1080p at a lower resolution to start out at 7, 720 maybe. Um, it'll, it would be less data being transmitted, right? So it'd be less quality, but it would be more smooth, right? Um, because it wouldn't be trying to load the 1080p to be so choppy. Um, and yeah, Xanthos also has a good, a good suggestion here to use an ethernet cable to help with not so good internet. Yeah, because sometimes doing it over Wi-Fi can um, dilute the signal a bit, make it a little less, uh, you know, less less strong, and using an Ethernet cable will be more stable. For the same reason, you can also lower the frame rate. Right, frame rate. <laughs> it's not like frames per second, as a frame rate. Frame rate. Yeah, yeah, the frame rate. Lower the frame rate. Uh, so you can like there are settings within like OBS itself to uh, to lower the frame rate, to lower the resolution, to um, have a smoother experience. It won't be as high quality, high def with you know every single pixel super extra duper duper crisp on a big screen, but it will make it smoother um, if you don't have the, the fastest internet to handle it. Um, and I'm sure there's 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 tutorials out there on. The, to, to show how to uh, change your, your stream quality and how to optimize that. I need to look at those myself. I need to, to see if I can get my, my quality a little bit better because I know sometimes my quality will just absolutely drop out of nowhere if there's a lot of uh, pixels, a lot of particles on the screen. Um, I gotta figure out how to do that. Okay, Snagoma, good night. Good night, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, have a good one, take care. Maybe I should take off my clown nose really quick. Maybe I don't need to be a clown right now. Okay, I liked being a clown though. Maybe I should, I should be a, uh, I, I, I like, <laughs> I like being a clown. It was a cute little nose. Okay, let me have a sip and then we'll go to our next question. Okay, let's go. What matters is the clown nose in your heart, exactly. All right, this question actually came from multiple crewmates. Thank you for the question. Um, it says, I'm pretty bad at singing. Do you have any tips for improving both your range and confidence in your singing? Yes. And the answer is, you have to sing. You simply have to sing. You simply have to do it. Um, Whether you, whether you are like, embarrassed by it, whether you don't want to, you, it, you won't get better if you don't do it. You're singing, your voice is a muscle. You have to use it, to train it, to, uh, to improve. I don't know who multiple is, but what a good question. <laughs> yeah, so my suggestion, I put this on the resources doc as well. Let me pop the resources. Did I spell it right? Yeah, I did. Cat, but I need singing help. <laughs> in here, in the resources doc, let's see, under other resources, right here, um, this, is a vo this is a channel that I use a lot on YouTube called uh, Jacob's Vocal Academy. We are starting with a hum. Oh. He has so many different uh, uh, videos of, of practices, of warm-ups, of exercises here. So you you will find you. I use these. You can see I use I use these. 
<laughs> I watch these videos to, to warm up, like before a karaoke stream or before I record something. I will make sure that I'm warming up by watching these videos and singing along. Um, and I think it's important. If you want to get better at singing, do it daily. This was a daily vocal workout right here. It's what, 22 minutes? Commit 22 minutes to singing. Even if you don't have that much time, do a vocal warm up. There's a five minute one, there's an eight, nine minute one, there's this 10 minute one. Um, whatever amount of time you have to commit to it, but commit, do it every day. See if you can get better. One thing that I, um, one thing that I would try is if you have like a good amount of time, if you have like a half hour to put aside, I would uh, record yourself singing a song before you warm up. Record yourself singing a song, like whatever song you want to record. Then do this 22 minute daily vocal workout. Do that one. Uh, and then after you finish that workout, sing that song again and see how your voice improves just from being warmed up, just from having it stretched like healthily, right? You're, you're moving your range like slowly up and down the scales to sort of gradually warm up your voice. You'll see a difference between that first recording and that second recording um, in, in just how, how comfortable it is for you to hit those notes. Uh, I think you'll, you'll definitely see a difference that way. But again, you got it's, it's you got to keep up with on a kind of daily basis. Um, as far as like range extension goes, you know what I heard? I was watching after we raided into Isa. Isa is a VTuber who is a very, uh, very, very good singer. Um, she had advice for improving your range. One exercise that she um, recommended was <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it. I've been practicing. It's, it's it's it goes like. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you do it up the scale, you know, the, the next the next note. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. <laughs> and like slowly like going up that scale. <laughs> You hated that exercise? <laughs> I think it's fun. It took me so long to learn it. Like, I, I was like, it's just numbers. It's just numbers. Why can't I say the numbers in reverse order? <laughs> um, but she said that was a good one for extending your range. How do you count like that? No, it was hard to learn. <laughs> it was really hard. <laughs> I I really would be like sitting there like after she said that after she said that <laughs> I was like oh my god how do I do that like for like weeks after that for weeks after I would just be like sitting around and like thinking like one one two one one two three two one I did it really slow at first I was like one two three four three two one you learn the notes with letters rather than numbers. Oh, interesting. You know, I tried to do it. I tried to teach myself solfege too. I was like, do, do, re, mi. Wait, do, do, re, do, do, re, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, fa, so, mi, re, so, fa, mi, re, do. I can't do it still. I can't do it still. I'm still trying the solfege, okay? I'm still trying the solfege. Where did the word solfege come from anyway? Anyway, <laughs> this is what I recommend doing. Uh, making sure that you sing. If you want to get better at singing, you gotta sing every day. You gotta work, work that muscle of your voice. And uh, yeah, do yoga. Yoga for your voice. Exactly serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, what I think is, if you want to get better at singing, I think you should record your progress because when I look back, when I listen back to things that I recorded went a long, long time ago, I like listen back and I'm like, man, that's progress. I'm glad that I recorded what I did because you, it is progress. And it's so cool to be able to actually go back and hear that. Did you have to learn all the symbols too? Our teacher had us do exercises and sing notes based on the hand signs they showed. I did not do that, no, no, wow. I haven't done vocal training. I haven't done an actual voice lesson in so long. I did vocal training like a long, 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 long time ago, but I haven't done it. And I'm sure that since then, in the time since then, um, I have absolutely horrible technique, horrible technique. So I really would like to get back into voice lessons sometimes so I could actually um, 
do it better, <laughs> do it better, learn how to actually sing instead of like making it up like I have been. Um, but yeah, those are my those are my suggestions for for singing, um, improving range, and improving confidence. Yeah, for the confidence, record record your progress, record it and listen back, and uh, that will help your your confidence. And if you want to share, if you want to share your your work, your singing, we'd be happy. I'd be happy to listen to it. If you want to put it in our Discord server, if you wanted to share it with me, I'd be happy to uh, to to listen. So glad you had minimal voice lessons. I can only play the clarinet. You can play the clarinet. Nice. I played the clarinet for a bit. Played the bass clarinet for a bit. I played the mellophone for a bit. That was fun. Your piano hand exercise. Amber Jelly, we should play piano. Play piano for me. <laughs> okay. That was, that was my, that was my, that was the answer. Not anymore? Okay. Wind instruments are supposed to make your lungs super strong, no? Yeah, you have to have a lot, you have to have uh, good support. Well, same thing for singing. You have to have good form for singing, too. Um, which, I don't know if those lessons go into there. Maybe they do. Um, but you gotta make sure that you're singing, you sing from deep, from your diaphragm. You have support at the, underneath your lungs, support, like, and your mouth is open and your soft palate is raised and you feel like you're gonna yawn and 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 sneeze at the same time it sucks i hate i hate i hate proper singing technique it's so hard i just want to i just want to idle scream my whole life you hated the bass clarinet case because it was basically a battering fan I've done chorus and competition almost my entire life and still suck a lot of the problem with singing is often mental. Sometimes you don't sound as bad as you think you do. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. It could be really mental, like the struggle of what you, what you sound like to other people versus what it sounds like in your own head. Mm, I get that. Any good tips getting over the sound of your own voice? Um, Honestly, for me, I could not stand. I can't, I still, I still am a little bit like, like with my singing voice, I'm okay. I can listen back to it. It's fine. But my speaking voice, I hate it. I can't, like not, I don't hate it, but like I, I cringe at it. I don't like it. I don't like my speaking voice. Um, I've, I've gotten to like it more. I have gotten to like it more. But especially when I was first starting streaming, I was so nervous. I was like, God, nobody's going to want to listen to my voice. Nobody's going to listen to me talk for this long. Like, I have a lisp. I can't, I, I can't enunciate. I, I stumble over everything. It's so embarrassing. And I can't imagine that anybody's going to actually be able to tolerate listening to me for any period of time, let alone hours on end. But uh, I guess the way to get over it is to just force yourself to listen to it. And I listen to myself talk so much so freaking much and i hate it less now i hate it less now <laughs> mm, so my suggestion is really just expose your therapy listen to your voice a lot and and just try to to get over it and with time you'll get more used to it you'll understand it um you'll feel you'll you'll just accept it notice it and let it go Mindfulness, baby. <laughs> Fun fact, the fat singing ladies actually look robust because they have super developed chest muscles. So this is true. Oh, yeah, yeah, Alex, your advice is the same as mine. Just live with it. You just gotta live with it. I never watch my VODs. I'm really self-conscious of you slurring words. No, you don't slur words. You have a lovely voice. You have a very, a very, a very nice deep voice. I, I sometimes will lurk on your stream. I don't say anything. I just lurk and listen. <laughs> I don't know anything about Genshin, but I'll be watching like... <laughs> yeah! I'm a lurker. I'm a lurker. I don't chat all the time. I'll be lurking. <laughs> Maybe I should say hello next time. <laughs> In 
And Xantha says, your voice is really lovely to listen to, and I'm really picky with voices. Thanks so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me because, like I said, I'm still self-conscious about how I sound, and I work really hard to try to enunciate, enunciate nicely, um, especially because I feel like I really I really try hard with my S's. I feel like I have, I don't, I don't say my S's, S's, S's consistently or clearly. And sometimes it is, it's not right. <laughs> now I'm overthinking it. Okay. Get over it. Get over it, Odessa. That's a good tip. I'll have to listen to myself more. Yeah, exactly. Talk to yourself all the time. If you want to start streaming or getting over your voice, you got to talk to yourself all the time on stream or not. Maybe you don't have to. That's what I did. Talk to myself all the time, no matter what. Whatever I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm putting on makeup. I'm talking to myself. I'm, I'm cooking dinner. I'm talking to myself. I'm uh, playing a game. I'm talking to myself. Anything I did, I was talking to myself. <laughs> like, just narrating it, getting used to to talking and keeping up energy of a conversation, even when there's nobody else to talk to. Um, and just practicing that off stream helped me for once I actually was on stream. Reading things out helps. Yeah, exactly. If you're like playing a game and there's like game, um, if there's like dialogue on the screen, read that out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if you read a book, read it, read the book out loud. I did that too. When I was reading, um, when I had my year of storytelling, I uh, was reading a lot of books and I'd read them out loud, man just to, to get used to like a narrator voice, kind of. If I ever become a VTuber, please say hi. I'd love to see you all there. Of course, Alex Kated, of course, yeah. I have whistle S's. I think I have, sometimes I have whistle S's. My descent into snakehood. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Uh, I can't say my R's, but I can do that wolf growl thing when a character sees someone hot. <laughs> nice. I love that. Awooga! That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never thought you were difficult to understand when speaking, except if you're laughing a lot at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Rain Buckets. Thank you. Sorry. Sometimes when I laugh, um, my, my joy, my joy takes over. <laughs> Bumblebee. Did I ever say ahoy, Bumblebee? Ahoy, Bumblebee. Keep in mind, even if you don't sound perfect, you can still sound good. Just think of all the other VTubers or Looney Tunes characters that have speech impediments that are still pleasant to hear. Thank you. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You don't need to sound perfect to sound good. That's very true. And sometimes it's the imperfections that make... That's the, so it, the imperfections make the... make it characteristic, right? Yeah. Laughing is fun. Please keep laughing. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep laughing. Snuck into class late. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can be late to class. You're still here. I'll still give you credit for attending. Daffy Duck, for example. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did I get... Did I go... Oh, wait, I did. How did, did. When did I click to the next slide? I don't even remember clicking to the next slide. Okay, whatever. This slide is from the X count. Thank you, the X count, for this question. Um, the X count asks For someone who is looking to cover their first song, how do you recommend finding someone to do the mixing and stuff? Great question. Um, for, for, for me, I have one specific mixer that I always, I always commission for. Um, my mixes and that is Lil Menchie. <laughs> I always ask Lil Menchie um, when she has commissions open if she would be able to help me out um, because I think that her... Hi Lil Menchie! Hi! <laughs> um, so if Lil Menchie has mixing commissions open that's my first recommendation. <laughs> but um, other than that I mean if you... Sometimes if you if you look at ah, uh, thank you for the hydrate cakes, Laura. Thank you. One sec. Ah, thank you. You're lurking because you're mixing a commission right now. You got it, come buddy, come buddy. Um, but 
I guess if you're looking for like a specific um, style or something, um, look at other VTubers or other other singers, other covers of songs. Um, and if you like how the mix sounds, check out the credits, see who mixed that, check out their socials, see if they have commissions open. Um, because if, if you already like their work, then you'll like what they could do for you know your own cover, right? Um, if you if you appreciate the quality, then you know that that's what the quality they'll they'll provide. Um, alternatively, again, I keep coming back to this, but like search Twitter, search Twitter for for just you know mix commissions or something um, to, uh, to to see who has the commissions open for for mixing. Listen to their catalog of examples. Do, that, does that sound good to you? Do those uh, prices match what you want want to pay like whatever <laughs> but uh, yeah I think I think looking around and listening to to what's out there because there's lots of people out there who are are, are mixers uh, at different at different levels and they have offer different services whether that is like you know tuning and timing and mixing whether it's just a combination or one of or a combination of those um, yeah, but also my first recommendation is Lil Menji. <laughs> Sorry, Lil Menji. My universal law of Lil Menji is always here, just waiting to be mentioned. <laughs> it's true. Lil Menji is always here. Waiting for, waiting for, uh, waiting for me to mention Australia or to say Lil Menji. <laughs> Maybe I should just in the middle of a stream, like when I when when she's not even said hello or anything, I should just like randomly just say, Lil Menchi. Lil Menchi. With no context and see if you show up. <laughs> One day. I'm gonna do it. It's coming. Be prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> and everyone's just gonna be like, huh? Odessa, what are you talking about? But if you're here, if you're here, you know you're in on the you're in on the the inside joke, the future inside joke, the future meta. You're in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be crying, Amber Jellyfish. She gave you warning. She gave you warning. She said, brace yourself and tag you. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's not bullying. That's not bullying. If it were bullying, no, it would be bullying if we were to do something like um, ask when you were going to sing that song. <laughs> is that a Japanese cover of the Mickey Mouse Club song? No, it's not. It is a song called Yurushite Nyan Taiso by Tsugunaga Momoko from Various Kobo. You just learn how to stretch your voice, of course. Yes, I'll give you time. I'll give you time to learn how to stretch your voice further to, to hit all the idle notes. <laughs> but no, it's a song. There is an idol. She, her name was Momochi, and her gag was um, she would always she she was she was she was always like extremely cute. Like like oh, I'm so cute. Like I'm an idol. I'm a pure idol. And she had this like really like crazy uh, really she committed to her bit of being an idol, right? Um, being very very cute and when she would go on talk shows people would like 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 dunk on her for <laughs> being too extra and stuff um, but one of her gimmicks was uh, whenever she would like say something that would upset someone or like they get angry or annoyed at her for being overly cutesy she would be like uh, forgive me nya. Nya. and then uh, she got a whole song about nya. <laughs> about like, sorry, I'm so cute. Please forgive me, nya. So that's what that song is. That's I like, sing it on a regular basis because it's so good. 
<laughs> Ash says, I'll say that I have more than enough points and I have had more than enough Fornian, but uh, you will have my mercy for this stream. But next stream, we will see. Ah, <laughs> is that a threat? <laughs> is that a threat? <laughs> yeah, it's a very good song. It's a very good song. Should get constant radio play. I agree. I agree. Can't wait to hear Ember Jellyfish version. Yeah, I'm very excited for it. I can't wait either. Okay, let's go to the next question. Next question. Next page. Oh. This is a good one. This is a um, an insightful one from from our Admiral Roger Moose says, what are some of the things you would tell your past self about streaming? Hmm. This is, it's kind of hard for this one actually, because I feel like it's not that much of a past, right? I guess if this is, to if this is me talking to myself at debut, um, I guess I'm gonna go further back. I'm gonna go back and tell myself before I decided to start streaming, before I decided to be a VTuber, I'm gonna go back and I would love to tell myself, just freaking do it. Just do it. Just commit and do it. Start streaming, just do it. Don't, don't, don't think about it. Don't. Don't be like, oh, I don't think I should because it's cringe. Like, embrace the cringe and just, just start doing it because you're going to love it. You're going you're gonna to love it. <laughs> don't let your memes be dreams. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> do it now. I'm not <laughs> That's actually perfect. Wait, I would just simply, I would just simply sing myself "Do It Now" by Morning Musume because those lyrics are pretty appropriate, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, that I, I, I think that I would just be like, just get started. C commit to what you want to do because this is going to be super fun. Um, and yeah, and don't worry about whether it's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I had a lot of worries about um, whether I would, whether it'd be worth it, whether I'd find success, whether this amount of money I was spending was really gonna go anywhere whether I would actually feel like it's worth it to, to commit and go forward because it was scary it, I put a big investment of, of of time and money into making this, this getting the streaming thing off the ground because I didn't even have a PC before I started this I had to I had to I had to get a PC <laughs> I was like nowhere I had like nothing I started from like nothing um, but I don't know I I I guess that would be my main advice would be to just get started because I think that I, I don't know if I've done a whole lot different since the what five months since I started streaming mm. I feel like I've been pretty focused since then I guess maybe I would say stop slacking and make your TikToks <laughs> make your make your dang TikToks make your dang tickety talks I haven't had I'm trying to think if there's any other like learning learning experiences I've had so far, but I don't know if there's anything I could really apply retroactively. Other than just do it. That's my advice. That's my advice, I think. Next next question, again from Admiral Roger Moose. And this one is ah, Kaina! Ahoy! 
Yeah. Welcome. Well, crew, crew, we're under attack. We're being raided. Ah, ah, grab the weapons. Avast, avast. Dodge the sentry egg. Let's go. <laughs> Kain, ahoy. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. What were you streaming? Monster Hunter World. That's fun. Ahoy, ahoy, raiders. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you here today. My name is Vampire at Odessa. I am your captain here aboard the Astoria here. <laughs> Ahoy, avast, avast, and welcome. Thank you. The Q and A has been going very well. I've had lots of great questions. I've been, I've been rambling for way too long. <laughs> what did you get? Century? What is a century egg? Is there a century egg in the game, or were you gonna eat a century egg, IRL? Or what, what's up with the century egg? I need, I need, I need some deets. <laughs> Everybody, Kanadase Kain is great. We raided into them the other day for uh, the, the, kari the karaoke, the Bokolo karaoke. Had a very good time. That was an amazing stream. I can't believe you did that whole, <laughs> the, the whole Niko Niko Kumikyoku. I was absolutely singing along. <laughs> I was singing along to every song. And I've been singing, I've been singing it since then. I was like <laughs> I've been singing it since then. It was so good. I love Nico Nico too. And I was watching that you say good also earlier today. <laughs> I was feeling it. I was feeling it. Thank you so much for the follow. Uncooked rice. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you on the crew. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes. I, I've been doing a, a stream today, answering some questions for aspiring VTubers, for new VTubers, for pre-debut VTubers, anybody who's looking to start streaming, um, just giving some some of my advice and the experience that I've had so far since I've started streaming. <laughs> and uh, rambling a whole lot, because that's something I'm good at. <laughs> yeah, um, and the, the, let's see. Fish raid, ahoy kudo is not salty, ahoy and welcome. Wait, I also, I miss, I miss greeting a couple other people. Let's see, Nova Bunny, oh, Nova Bunny also, ahoy and welcome. Welcome, welcome, happy to have you all aboard today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kain, for bringing your crew here. Uh, if you want to stick around, happy to have you here. But if you are, if you have had a long stream and you need to rest up and, and take care of yourself, please go ahead and do that as well. Happy to have you here for the raid. Hope you have a wonderful night. I just wanted to see Fishman eat century eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see. I will absolutely be looking up the century eggs later. Sorry, Kai. Gonna get yourself a K Glizzy. Okay, have fun with what's a K Glizzy? What's a, what, what, what? I know what a Glizzy is, but what's a K Glizzy? Whatever it is, enjoy it. <laughs> I right, Kappa, this has been fun, but frankly, I'm once again overestimated my alcohol tolerance. Get ready to sleep. Oh, good night, Ash. Thanks for coming by. Have a good, have a good night. Uh, take care. Drink water before sleeping. Good night. Oh, K-pop, K-drama, K-glizzy. Ah, naruhodane. Hmm, naruhodane. Hmm. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I was thinking like K, like a thousand. I was like, it's a thousand. <laughs> Why did I think a thousand? Um, I'm not, or maybe potassium. Potassium glizzy, it's a banana. <gasps> a banana glizzy. Wait, that might go hard though, hold on. <laughs> but this a banana on a bun, man? Mm. I'm for it, I'm for it. I'm for the potassium glizzy. <laughs> Slightly cursed, but that's what that's what we like here. Um, but yeah, okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> is, is this the last question? Or banana as bun? Wait, Bumblebee, that's very cursed. Wait, didn't I have that in my cursed food stream during my uh, during the subathon with Mado Leo? I feel like there was a I feel like there was a banana glizzy in that actually. <laughs> and there's also a banana taco, right? I feel like hmm. Wait, banana as bun and bun as sausage. <laughs> yeah, this is it. That's that's the ideal glizzy. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is peak glizzy performance. Okay, I need water. I need water. <laughs> Okay, this question comes from Admiral Roger Moose. Admiral Roger, 
Admiral Roger Moose, I can read, I promise, asks, do you have a favorite part about streaming and what is it? Um, I have several favorite parts about streaming. <laughs> um, my favorite, I guess it's all about like the, I think it all kind of ties to the crew in a way because um, I don't know, being able to chat with the, the crew, being able to have people to just, I just hit streaming, I just hit the stream button and I have I have people who want to come and chat or just watch or lurk or whatever. And it's like, it's like, I might be alone here in the captain's quarters, but I'm not alone in my heart. I'm not alone. And it's very nice to, to have uh, such friendly people. <laughs> you know, aw, it sounds very cheesy, but I mean it. Um, I, I, I mean it. <laughs> like, it's just nice because um, also I never played video games like I never really played video games before um, I started streaming because I always thought like it would be, I always thought it's a waste of time. Like I'm, I'm by myself, I'm not being productive. I could, I could be social, I'm kind of bored. Like my, my mind can't focus on it. I, I can't, I, it's not worth my investment of my time. So I never played video games, which is a shame because I, I still like video games. Like I never, like I love video games, like, but I just didn't, I just was like, it's, it's, it's not good. But now that I'm, now that I stream, it's like, oh, I'm streaming and there's people and I'm socializing and I'm being productive and I'm doing all of this and it's like fun. And I, I just, my brain can, can justify playing games. <laughs> my brain can justify it to, uh, to be able to actually play and enjoy them and, and to share them with other people. And it makes me very happy to be able to do that. You didn't play games? The story and games are so amazing. Yeah, I didn't really play. I played, um, you know, I played like uh, Kingdom Hearts. Back, I played like old games, right? Like, uh, like, like PlayStation 2. Like I, Kingdom Hearts, I loved Kingdom Hearts. Uh, that was very good. Um, but other than that, like I bought Kingdom, I never even finished Kingdom Hearts three. Like who am I? I never finished it. Ugh. I would like to. I would like to finish. I gotta finish Kingdom Hearts three. Maybe I'll play that. Should I play it on stream one day? Should I like pick up wherever I wherever I left off on Kingdom Hearts three? I also never finished uh, Final Fantasy seven remake. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Never finished it. Um, but again, it was because I was like, I'm not being productive. I, should, I, I could be doing other stuff. But now I'm like, I could do it. I could do it on stream and I would feel totally good about it. <laughs> I need to finish three. Yeah, yeah. Well, I only ever played, all right. I, the only Kingdom Hearts games that I played were Kingdom Hearts 1, um, Chain of Memories, Chain of Memories, and Kingdom Hearts 2. And then so much happened in the games, like an incredible amount of things happened in between the games that I could not even wrap my head around. I tried, I, I tried watching like hour long summary videos, like a brief explanation of Kingdom Hearts lore in, in, in an hour. Like I am so sorry. That is too much lore. I can't keep it track. Can't keep it straight in my head. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like if I were to pick up Kingdom Hearts three again, I'd be like, I need to remind myself of everything I missed. Everything. <laughs> there's a lot in between those. In between uh, two and three, huh? Like Riku got bugs in him. They put bugs in him. They put bugs in him. Uh, and who will I eat ice cream with? Who will I eat ice cream with? Recaps can help. Yeah. It was an hour long summary. No, it was, it was like, it was wildly long. And it was like the brief explanation of Kingdom Hearts lore. <laughs> Poor Riku. Poor Riku. We love a little, we love a little edgelord. <laughs> But yeah, I think I think it's been really fun to, to be able to play games, be able to talk to people, and um, 
to hear about to hear, hear perspectives of new people as well. Satoshi, Satoshi4031, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, welcome aboard. Happy to have you on the crew. Ahoy, 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 welcome. I am your captain, Vampire Odessa. So happy to have you here. <laughs> Secretly, this was a plan for Captain to turn into a gamer. <gasps> a gamer. I am a gamer. I'm. I'm pretty much a gamer. <laughs> I play all these games. I play. I play Pokemon really good. I've accepted that everyone else. I've accepted that everyone is everyone else. No one is real, and I will never understand what's going on in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I thought you were getting like existential about the real world for a second. I was like. I was like, what are you talking about? And then he finally ended it with In Kingdom Hearts. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were getting really, like, chewy for a second there. Like, I've accepted that everyone is everyone else. No one is real. And I'll never understand what's going on in the world. <laughs> what I can say about the history of Kingdom Hearts is that it has really good gameplay. Ah, mm-hmm. Okay, I, 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 like I said, I've, I've, you know, I tried to play, I, tr I got the, 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 the pack of games between two and three, um, the story so far, wait, no, yeah, I got the story so far on PlayStation 4, um, and I tried to play Chain of Memories again on the PlayStation port for it, it was not good, it sucked, I, I could not play Chain of Memories on that thing. It seemed so like empty and lifeless and th the controls were bad. So I dug out, <laughs> I dug out my old uh, Game Boy Advance. <laughs> I dug out my old like Game Boy Advance and I played it on that. I pulled out my game, I, I charged it up. Now I don't think I even needed to charge it. It somehow retained its charge for like way too long. Um, and I played, I played some Chain of Memories on that Playing it on that tiny little console, on that little handheld thing, felt so much better. And the, the, the art was so much cuter, like the sprite art instead of the like Kingdom Hearts 1 graphics. Mm, it was so good. I love Chain of It was a low point? No, it was so good. It just wasn't good on the PlayStation version of it. It was good in the handheld version. Yeah, the, the Game Boy Advance and DS. Oh wait, no, yeah, it was the DS. I'm sorry, it was the DS, not the Game Boy Advance. The DS has an everlasting battery. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it was very. It was. It's, it was a great experience playing Kingdom Hearts on the on the on the DS. If you like deck building games, mm -mm -mm. you like Chain of Memories more than Kingdom Hearts One. Wow. It was good. I my favorite part of Chain of Memories. My favorite part of Chain of Memories is how Riku suddenly developed a crazy nose. Like, his nose got so sensitive. And he would talk about his nose and everything he could smell for the entire, like, second half of that game. And then never mentioned his nose ever again after that. <laughs> but for that, for that game, he sure could smell everyone <laughs> and you could smell darkness oh the PlayStation 2 version yeah 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 the PlayStation 2 version it it didn't it felt it felt not good oh and my hat back thank you so much Sammy ahoy Sammy thank you for my hat back <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next one. Well, no, the, Alec, the, the difference, I don't know. In, in Chain of Memories, in the PlayStation version for Chain of Memories, it was like all the worlds and, and, the, and the assets from Kingdom Hearts 1, but like none of the life in the world was just like empty, just emptiness and like weirdness. And it was just not a good feeling. It just was weird. And it was much better on the, on the DS. Oh, you've been here just listening and reading. Okay. Okay, good. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go. Let's go to the next. Do I have another question? Is that the end? Is that the last question? <gasps> that was the last one. Crew? Crew, that was the last one. I'm sad now. 
that's the end of our that's the end of our presentation the end of our class Santhris, oh, you came in a little late. Glad to catch the end. Yeah. Well, I think at this point, what I can do is if you guys have any further questions, if you have any further questions, you can ask them here, and I'll be happy to answer your questions here um, in a less formal setting. We'll do some, we can do some office hours. We can do, we can do some office hours if you like. <laughs> yeah, I did this. I did this. Thank you. I was like, last second, I was like, oh, wait, I think I need a, an ending slide. So I just put it together really quick. <laughs> Amber jellyfish. <laughs> so yeah, let's do some, let's do some office hours um, over in the just chatting. Okay, let's get some office hours now. Okay, we got some office. Anybody, anybody have any questions they would like to, to bring to Odessa Sensei? Anything else they'd like to ask? Anything you just want to talk about? Do you, are you guys aspire, do you guys, you guys are VTubers? Anybody? Anybody uh, thinking about starting to become a VTuber after this or, or before this? And did this give you any, any insight to it? We have a few questions. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. The X count. Can I ask how you decided on the name Odessa? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, well, first of all, um, for those who... For... for, 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 for obvious reasons my, my 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 vampire parents named me odessa so i got the name from them but also if you want to uh uh, uh close your ears to prevent the immersion break <laughs> um i wanted a name that sounded like it would fit both kind of a uh a pirate vibe and a vampire vibe right um and i wanted to, to, to sort of be able to go between the two of them um there, I, I, uh, and when I, when I was looking through names, Odessa, I, was, I saw Odessa, and I was like, oh, that's really nice, that's really, it kind of, like, gives, like, the a, a feel of, like, an epic journey, like, on boat, like, the Odyssey, right, uh, and if it's an epic, long journey, like, a, like, a, like, a vampire's life is long and eternal as an immortal being, so Odyssey seemed like it was a, a nice, like, uh, a, a nice, name to base it off of and then um there's a song that i like by the dreadnoughts called black sea gale uh and they do a, like sea shanties and like like cleanser rock and like polka and stuff i love their stuff they're really good uh, but i uh uh one of their songs black sea gale they mentioned they sing about odessa the city the city of odessa in it um and uh I, I was like, oh, it could be like a name from a song. That'd be cool too. <laughs> My name could be in a song. So that's kind of, that was what sort of went into the, the name choice for Odessa. <laughs> so lots of reasons, lots of, lots of inspiration. It, it, it took me a long time to sort of bring, to make it, pull it all together. But once it did, I was like, this is perfect. That's it. That's what we're going with. <laughs> If Odessa was slightly based on Odyssey, then, then would R R sixty three Captain be called Ulysses? R sixty three. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Alex Caden asks, "How do I shot web?" Okay, um, I think that to do that, the first step would be to find a radioactive spider. Um, and get it to bite you. And I don't recommend this. I, this is not medical advice. Not, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. But I think that the only way to, to be able to shoot web from your hands would be to genetically modify yourself through the uh, radioactive spider bite, um, which would then grant you the superpowers of, uh, you know, that one guy who could do whatever. Uh, I don't remember what, that, what it's called, this, the animal. You know, whatever. You could do whatever that thing can. But I think that is the lore. I've never watched Spider-Man, so I don't know. 
but I think that's the lore. <laughs> Thank you, back alley Dr. Odessa. Don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> okay, King Sora asks, have you ever had a 3D model? And if so, which do you like better, 2D or 3D? I've never done a 3D model before. Um, I've never used a 3D model. I'm not sure how they work or like in D-Roid or something. I'm not sure. I've only ever had my uh, this live 2D model um, that, I, that I've used. So I don't know anything about 3D ones. Other than like in VR chat, there are 3D models, I guess, but I always just used ones that I found like in the public markets there when I played there. And, and I never streamed with that. I only ever played in VR chat with that, just wandering and talking to people. Um, so I never, uh, for, for streaming and for VTuber purposes, I've only ever been in live 2D. Um, so I unfortunately, I don't have any basis to, to judge between 3D and 2D, which one I like better. I do really love being 2D though. I like I, I, I like I like being how I am. I like being who I am. <laughs> um, VTuber Xantharist uh, says, oh, I'm just so proud for you. You've lasted off since your launch. You go girl. Thank you, Xantharist. Thank you so much. Thank you. are so sweet. Very kind of you to, 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 to write that message. <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I feel like it's been a while since I saw you. Hope you're taking good care. Nick Noir. Ahoy, Nick Noir. Thank you so much for your message. Welcome, welcome. Nick Noir, you asked, what is the first anime you ever watched? Okay, the first anime I ever watched. Um, I guess it might have been like before I knew it was like an anime. Before I knew what anime was, I was watching things like Pokemon or like Sailor Moon, or even Kiki's Delivery Service was a big one too. So those three were really like, I guess those might have been my first anime that I that I saw. Um, just on like on TV in English before you know in before I um, knew really what anime was. So Sailor Moon um, was a big one, and Pokemon too. Yeah, that was that. Uh, those are probably my first animes. The first one that I really got into, I guess I, I liked Sailor Moon after that. I guess I watched some Sailor Moon in Japanese. But I really, I, I my mean, first anime that I was like, this is my favorite anime, is um, I liked Card Captor Sakura. That was my, that, that one's my, my vampire, my weeb, my weeb childhood um, favorite was Card Captor Sakura. <laughs> Castle in the Sky was your first. That and the original Dragon Ball. Castle in the Sky is so good. Yeah, first sub would maybe be, maybe it was Card Captor Sakura or um, even other Ghibli movies like Spirited Away. I love Spirited Away too. Oh, Spirited Away. That soundtrack will just make me cry for no reason. <laughs> just for pure nostalgia. I love Spirited Away. Yeah, those are my those are those were my starter my weeb starter packs, but my, my real my real weeb uh, gateway was Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts was my weeb gateway, uh, and then I heard the um, the I really liked the theme song for Kingdom Hearts, and then one day I was online, I was online and I went to a website and the website automatically, somebody like had it playing like a song, right? Back when, back when websites would automatically play songs because the browsers just let people do that. <laughs> um, and somebody put, it was, I was like, what is this song? This is like, this is simple and clean, but it's in, it's in, it's in another language. What language is this? And uh, it, it turned out that it was Japanese. And I was like, I want to hear more of this. And I, that got me into J-pop, which is my, uh, my 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 gateway into into weebness was was listening to Japanese music from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh, bye. Have a good night. Good night, Benderus Minotaurus. Good night. Hold on, I'll get back to your question in a second here. Wait, wait. Why a vampire pirate? Is it a Warhammer reference? Except cuter? No, it's not. It's uh. It's 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 just I just like I liked vampires and I like pirates and I decided that that I wanted to combine them because it would be a good aesthetic. I didn't even know it was a Warhammer thing until after I debuted and people were like, "Oh, I like Warhammer." I'm like, "No. I'm original. I'm original." <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, let me let me go back to let me go back. Uh, let's see, King Slora says, as a starter VTuber, I found this very helpful. I plan on taking a lot of this advice. Thank you so much for that feedback. I appreciate that. Also, um, if anybody missed it, I do have a document with all of the resources um, that uh, that I found very helpful when I got started. Um, there are some links there to find assets for VTubing for for your overlays. There's lots of free assets there for overlays for. Uh, for graphics, for your um, VTuber. There's like play markets to buy your VTuber models. There's uh, links for programs that are good for video editing and stuff. So um, I would definitely recommend checking that out if you're just getting started and you want to have a good uh, list of places to, um, you know, to, to get started with those links. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? After our talk of merch in Discord a while ago, have you given any more thought to merch? Um, I've given, I've thought a little bit about merch. I've looked into, I haven't really looked, I, haven't, I don't know. I would need to figure out logistically how I would actually get and ship merch. I don't think I'm at a point where I could make a profit with merch right just yet, I think, I think. Uh, my priority has been more right now to spend time on things like singing and music and working on projects uh, about about singing and music for, for this winter of melody. So I have not been really thinking further about merch. Um, that's, 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 the, that's the real truth, okay? Haven't been. <laughs> Shove silly string on your arm, then bam web. Good, good idea, Ash. I like that. One day we'll have the 3D live concert. Yeah, I want a 3D live concert for sure. That'd be so fun. I'm so jelly watching other VTubers get a 3D live concert. Like, why not me? It's like, because you... <laughs> because you don't have millions of followers, Odessa. Maybe that's why. One day. Just you wait. Just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> um... Oh, you remember someone got a bootleg of Ghost in the Shell? It was a novelty back in the day. It was hard to get and was only able to get bootlegs that were really bad. Yeah, I remember. It, was, it, was, it wasn't even like a bootleg that was bad. I got like, what what movie was it? Okay, Battle, Battle Royale? Battle Royale. I got a DVD for I got it from <laughs> the DVD for it. And it was a legit DVD. It was a legit copy. Um, and the subtitles on it are so bad. <laughs> the subtitles are horrible. They're so bad. But it was the official release. Like, I was, I was like baffled. Like, I wish I had fan subs. Fan subs would have given it more care. But I loved Battle Royale. I still love Battle Royale. Anybody, anybody like Battle Royale, the movie? <laughs> it was good. That was my my, my first cosplay. <laughs> My first real anime was some random anime I found on YouTube that I could never remember, despite trying to find it for years now. What was it, Ash? Hmm. That's heartwarming. I really love how much Kingdom Hearts influenced people. Yeah, no. If it weren't for Kingdom Hearts, I wouldn't be as I, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be a VTuber right now. I don't think I'd be a VTuber at all if I didn't play Kingdom Hearts. That's like how I found all my favorite bands on AMVs. Oh yeah, yeah, like that. Simple and Clean did so much for introducing Baby Weebs to J-pop. It did so much heavy lifting. That song is so good, legitimately so good. <laughs> You've always meant to watch it. Yeah, you enjoyed it, Bumblebee? Yeah, it's a good one, right? The subs were the worst back then, worse than dubs, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, don't, I never really watched dubbed things really back then. I, I kind of didn't. I kind. I just. I was like. <laughs> I was a, a purist. I was like, no, only subs, only subs, only the night was originally meant to be. I would not watch it with dub. <laughs> dub is bad. Dub makes uh. But particularly, I think I had a chip on my shoulder. I had a chip on my shoulder because the dubs for like, like the old school anime were just completely like chip chopped up, and names were changed and and relationships were altered. Like, like you know, in Sailor Moon, there's some cousins. There's some cousins that are really, really close. 
<laughs> you know, and even in 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 Cardcaptor Sakura too, there's like I think what do they do? They made I don't remember. I, I they, they they did some they did some some stuff. They did some stuff back in the day with with uh, anime. So that kind of was like I've kind of put me off like dubs are dubs are dubs are bad actually because uh, because uh, because because they, they they changed things and four kids four kids changed everything and they made it they made it different than the original. So dub dubs bad. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's baby Odessa. <laughs> yeah, jelly donuts. Oh my god, jelly donuts. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, wait. It's almost like, oh my god, how do you pronounce it? Punchki? It's almost punchki season. Am I pronouncing that really badly? <laughs> how do you spell it? It's like P A C Z K I or something, right? Punchki, punchki. It's the, like jelly donuts, like legit jelly donuts. Not, not onigiri. <laughs> it's like the Mardi Gras, or like the, 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 the Mardi Gras food. I'll use my frying pan as a drying pan. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Sailor Moon had it the worst and most with the character relationship thing. Yeah. Yeah, but it's very funny when you watch the dub and you're like, there's like a video on YouTube where it's like talking about them being cousins and like, yeah, they're very close and they're cousins and they're cousins as they're like, like romantically walking hand in hand. <laughs> hmm. Wow, truly Brock. Brock was pretty good, actually. I have no complaints for Brock. No Brock complaints from me. When did you first meet your cousin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that like romantic. Oh my God, wait, that scene was so much. <laughs> that totally makes their relationship better. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> what was the thought process there? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. But I loved, I loved, I loved Cardcaptor Sakura. That was my favorite. I read, hold on. <laughs> I read, I read, I read the manga, Scanlations. Uh huh. Uh huh. I read Scanlations on on the internet because I didn't, I didn't own manga. Manga was, ex manga was and is expensive. And there's so much of it to read. How could you possibly be a tiny little baby vampire and 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 be able to buy that much manga and, and read it and own it? Like I borrowed it from I borrowed it from friends who happened to have it, and I read it from friends who I could borrow from. Um, but I mean, like a, a a pirate's gotta do what a pirate's gotta do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Desperate times call for desperate measures. That's all. I remember my first kiss. It was with show's outline of cousin, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Brad. That's so funny. Shut up. I love that. <laughs> they really did that. With Brad. <laughs> then again, they also removed all the guns in Yu-Gi-Oh! So everyone's just goofily pointing finger guns at Wait, they like changed the actual like animation frames to to not have guns. They pointed fingers. Really? They went that far? That's so funny. Wow. They did. I guess back in the day, they edited they edited the crap out of stuff, didn't they? Like the Digimon movie that wasn't actually a movie in Japan. It was like three small, it was like three small mini sh mini movies or something that they mishmashed together to edit it, to make it into a big Digimon movie because, because there was huge success from the Pokemon movie, but they didn't have a Digimon movie to, to, to put up against it. <laughs> so they just they were like, they just worked to edit the, those three things into a movie. That's pretty impressive, honestly. They pretty pretty good work for them to to be able to push that all together to uh, a cohesive movie that is, I'm sure, beloved beloved by many. 
I wasn't. A, I didn't have a Digimon childhood. I don't. I don't know. I don't have the nostalgia factor of Digimon, but I know a lot of people do. I know. I know a lot of my friends do. Just enough of a difference to get past censors at the time, probably. Mm, yeah. I still unabashedly read scanlations if I feel like it. I'll buy physical. Yeah. Okay. Mm, 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 yeah. Yeah. In Zatch Bell, they made him glow in green. <laughs> they added seatbelts in shows too. That's so funny. I love that. Wow. <laughs> there was a Pokemon episode that was banned for having a gun in it. Oh. I will say one of the first anime I can fully remember watching in full was <gasps> Oron High School Host Club. Shut up. Wait, wait. When am I going to become a host? Wait, 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 wait. When, when, when do I get to be a host? When do we get host Odessa? When? I need to, I need to work on this like Ikemen thing. I need to become like a, I need to become an Ikemen and be like, Hello, Ojo-sama, how are you today? Welcome to the Astoria Host Club. My name is Ulysses. <laughs> I'm Ulysses. <laughs> A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Ulysses host arc, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta do that, wait. I'm definitely, I gotta cut my hair and do that. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm feeling away, man. I'm feeling away. But I, lo I loved Oron. Oron is so good. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Just accepting Ulysses as Nail Odessa now. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> I don't think Odesso has the same <laughs> has the same ring to it. Odesso. <laughs> no, Ulysses. We'll go with Ulysses. It's fine. <laughs> so you couldn't say kill for a long time. It was always destroy or eliminate. Avatar the Last Airbender even. They hardly ever could say kill. They could not say kill. They could not say kill, even when talking about what they were, what Aang was supposed to do to the the Fire Lord or whatever. Sorry, spoilers. But also, if you haven't seen Avatar, um, get with it. Truly, grow up and watch Avatar. Okay, put on your big kid pants and 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 watch Avatar: The Last Airbender. Simply, simply do that, and then you won't have to worry about the spoilers that I just said. So. Um, yeah, <laughs> just some life advice. <laughs> shadow realm, yes, yeah, shadow realm. <laughs> Sail for what you're interested in, support what you love, my mantra. Exactly, but truly I love that. Oh, Safari Zoo episodes, they hold Ash at gunpoint for a split second. Well, if it's a split second, they could they could get rid of that, that in the frame pretty easily, I think. I love Oran, me too, I love Oran. Odesso, you like Odesso better than Ulysses? Nanasa, you watched Avatar The Way of Water, does that count? Absolutely not! That absolutely does not count! Kine, come on! Come on! Have you really not seen Avatar The Last Airbender? It's such a... All right, honestly, I, 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 will, I will tell you this. I have not seen Avatar The Way of Water. I've seen the original Avatar, and I can tell you that Avatar The Last Airbender is significantly better! It is significantly better! Come on! They couldn't say kill, but Avatar gets pretty dark at a lot of points. It does. It gets pretty dark. Ahoy, Sonata! Ahoy, welcome, welcome! It gets dark. The manga gets darker, too. The manga of the manga that the manga. I keep saying the manga. The, the, the graphic novels. The graphic novels get really dark. They get darker, I think, with, like... The, with the royal family, the story of the royal family afterwards. Not so bueno. Pretty sad. Pretty dark. Pretty un unhappy stuff. <laughs> but uh, at least it's not as bad as what Harmony Gold did to Macross. Oh my god. No, I, I, Macross? You, can you even touch Macross anymore? Like, can anybody touch Macross, like, anymore at all going forward? Because when I tried to watch, like, Macross Delta, there was still no legal way to watch it. No, what, no way whatsoever because it was just still locked up. Is it still locked up that badly? Or can you, like, legally watch Macross, like, a, a, a licensed, is there any licensed Macross? 
I don't, I don't know. I feel bad. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know anything about Macross. An entire room full of air monk skeletons, but we can't say death, right? Man, I saw a compilation of characters finally finding creative ways to avoid saying kill. <laughs> if you watched the original Avatar, you also watched The Way of Water. <laughs> was it that was it that good of an experience to uh, watch the sequel? That unique, that unique of a movie. You're rewatching Avatar right now, Ash. Nice, love that for you. Love that. I got the Avatar: The Last Airbender tabletop role-playing game, Avatar Legends. Um, if you've never played it, it's really good. Super good game. Would love to 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 play that game again. I should run a game on stream one day, maybe. Gotta gotta figure that out. But after after maybe in spring, maybe in spring or something. Not not in the winter time. <laughs> I have a, I have too much to to work on this winter. Harmony Gold and Big West reach an agreement. One Macross movie came out in cinemas recently. No way! That's awesome. They made up officially. Yay! Nice. They're exactly the same movie. Oh, man. Well, good to know. Good to know that I, I made the right choice by seeing Puss in Boots instead. Now, Puss in Boots, legitimately such a good movie. So good. Um, worth every every cent i paid to go see it worth every cent i overpaid on the popcorn while watching that movie it was so it was so fire right right like i cried at three separate points in that movie because of how touching it was it was so good yeah puss in boots 2 is significantly better yeah i also think it was better than the first puss in boots a lot too Lobo had no right to be that hot. Hey, don't talk to me about Lobo. <laughs> don't talk to me about Lobo. <laughs> I already I already have the crew thinking some slanderous things about me. I can't tell you how I feel about Lobo without without uh, causing controversy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it, but stuff happened. Oh well. Oh, I saw an action clip, and it legit looked like anime. No, the way they the way they animated it was so cool. It was very well done. It was so beautiful. <laughs> Does Kobe have competition? Little Menti, you better stop. You better shut up. You better not bring up Kobu in this stream. <laughs> it was basically anime. Yeah. It was so good. I, I, I swear, you guys, if you haven't seen it, you would love to see it. Maybe I should do, maybe I should do a watch along one day <laughs> in the server. We should have a movie night, but I have to buy it. Maybe like 20 something bucks to buy it, I think. But for the crew, for the crew, could I make the sacrifice for you? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it later. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll pocket that. We'll revisit it. <laughs> I mean, you are a... Oh, kind. you're right. Mm, mm. I, I, will, I will research this. I will do my... I will go to bing.com to research this. Does anybody else do that? <laughs> Google, I find sometimes Google hides results that I want. So I go to bing.com to find results sometimes. <laughs> ask Jeeves or Bust. Oh, Ask Jeeves. Is he still around? Wait, is Alta Vista still a thing? Wasn't that like a search engine at one point? Hold on, is Ask Jeeves still a thing? I'm gonna go to ask Jeeves. I'm gonna, this is gonna I'm gonna get a virus by going to ask Jeeves.com. Oh god. Oh, it's supposed to ask.com. Boo! Oh! There's a picture of the groundhog! Crew, do you do you like Groundhog Day? Do you, do you do you believe in the groundhog? <laughs> totally off, totally off topic. Uh, totally distracted here, but I, I I am very invested in the groundhog's uh, predictions. You appropriate movies all the time. Okay, Ash, good. Alta Vista gang, 
Alta Vista doesn't exist anymore. Ah, shame. Shame, 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 shame. Dogpile used to be the best because it was all of them. Oh, it combined all of them, I see. The movie, I guess the movie's pretty good too. Yeah. Early spring, early spring for you, Bumblebee? Wow. Wow. I only, I only um, believe in the one, I only believe in the one groundhog. I don't believe in other groundhogs. Um, I only believe in the one from the movie. I only believe in Punks and Tawny Phil. And Punks and Tawny Phil this year said that we're gonna have six more weeks of winter. So I will believe him, but I will hope that he's wrong. I will hope that the prediction is incorrect and we're gonna get spring sooner than that because I miss the sun. You know that thing? That thing in the sky? The thing that's up there? Sometimes, you know, in the morning hours? I don't think I've seen that guy for like two months, three months, and I miss him. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say hi again. <laughs> that's my, that's my opinion. That's my opinion! Browsing the internet on Netscape while using the AOL trial discs. Oh my god, the AOL trial discs. You would go to Target and they'd be free. Free CDs at the exit of Target. And you know what I did? I took them. I would take one. Like every time, I would sneak one and steal it. Because it's free, take one. They said free, take one all over it. So I did. And I had a collection, I had a collection of, of discs and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill holes in them and hang them like a cool curtain for a really cool, like Y2K vibe. <laughs> did not, did not end up ever doing anything with them. Ahoy Ghost Cyan 28, ahoy and welcome. Thanks for stopping by, how are you? <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son again. Yeah. <laughs> the groundhog is getting back at me for its fallen brother 10 years ago in driver's ed. What did you do? What did you do, Amber Jellyfish, to, to Punxsutawney Phil's sibling? I figure Georgia is far enough away that it makes sense that our local weather would be different. True. True. Yeah, yeah. Back in my day, AOL only gave you 10 free hours. <laughs> 10 hours free. You still use an AIM email, King Sora? That's awesome. I love that. I love that for you. I always took direct TV pamphlets home when I went to a mall. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's free. Take them. Take them. They're free. Get your get your no, no money's worth. Come on. Ahoy, Vodka Auntie Cabaret. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Happy to see you. I'm good. Are you a pirate or a wizard? I am a pirate. I am a vampire and a pirate. Oh, uh, this here, this is my pointer. I was I was doing some presentations. I'm teach I'm a teacher today. Um I'm a teacher. I'm teaching you I was teaching you guys about how to be a VTubers, how to get started with VTubing. So uh Ah! Ah! Crew! Crew, we're under attack! We're being raided! Crew! Ah! <laughs> we have a fish raid on our hands! A fish raid! Ahoy! <gasps> swords for for uh getting me <laughs> ready to, to fight this raid ahoy and welcome thank you so much hello everybody i am your captain vampire odessa welcome aboard our our lovely little pirate ship today we did a collab with lotus awesome was it is it it was uh keep talking and nobody explodes <laughs> Is that what it was? Did I see it right? Yeah, keep talking and nobody's. Well, that's so much fun! I love that game. Was it panicked? You exploded many times. 
I don't think you I don't think I could play that game without panicking. So that sounds like much fun. I'll have to check out the VOD after. Well, thank you so much for bringing your crew over here. Hello, everybody. Um, today, what I was doing earlier, what, what I've been doing is doing a uh, Q&A for aspiring VTubers, for people who want to maybe start streaming, want to maybe uh, dip their toes into the water of, of how to uh, become a VTuber. Um, and so I've been giving some advice, answering some questions. We got through all of our pre-prepared uh, slides, um, and I was just sort of chatting and answering questions here. We're in our office hours, uh, office hours segment now uh, <laughs> for um, for today. So <laughs> if anybody, if anybody from the raid, if you would like to, you know, if you're curious about any uh, how to get started as a VTuber uh, or have any questions, I would love to be able to answer those for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Professor Dessa. <gasps> Wait, I was going with I was going with Odessa Sensei, but Professor Dessa is infinitely better. I think <laughs> that's very good. Ahoy, Hambury, how are you? And I got my hat stolen. Okay, you can take my hat, Vodka Anti Cabaret. Enjoy, enjoy my hat. Take take care of it. <laughs> Air Rookie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Happy to have you on board, Professor Dessa. Exactly. Professor Desta, <laughs> Professor Odessa, Calix, Calix, Calix Aiden, I said. Alex Caden, thank you for my hat back. Thank you. Yes. See, I feel I feel naked without my hat. Mm. My head doesn't seem like it's quite the right shape without it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, oh my gosh! Wait, another rain? Another rain? Ahoy! Ahoy! And the and Valeti? Oh, no, wait, wait. And 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 Vatil. <laughs> How do I read? Enva Tulea, ahoy, thank you so much. Enva, Enva, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome aboard, raiders. Happy to have you here. Enva, how are you today? Oh my gosh, thanks so much for the raid. What were you streaming? Music, were you playing music? Oh my gosh, wait, your music is so good. You're so talented. <laughs> I listen to your covers and your voice is so like beautifully ethereal. <laughs> I'm very, I'm kind of flustered to see you here. Thank you for bringing your crew over. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Okay, look, I am, I am, uh, Raiders, hello, I am Vampire Odessa. Uh, I'm doing a stream today. Uh, I was, I was giving advice, uh, I was answering questions from the crew regarding uh, how to become a VTuber, what, what uh, to do to get started, uh, giving a list of resources and uh, my little expertise from my time streaming. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, we are now in the office hours portion of our broadcast. Where I will be happy to answer questions directly. And thank you, Andy, for the shower of love. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Enva, I see, I see in your description here. Wait, you have it written here. Envatilia. Envatilia. <laughs> I see. I I can read it now. Sorry about the mispronunciation. I was struggling. I was flustered. <laughs> First UV and then YouTuber. Yeah, that was what it really boiled down to. First UV, then YouTuber, and um, then you're set, you're good to go. <laughs> Hold on, I need some water. I feel like I've, I've been talking for a while. Hey, Aaron! Ahoy! Welcome! I feel like it's been a while since I saw you. Ahoy, ahoy! I'm not here with a question just to say hi. Hi, hi! Happy to have you here. Tuber? Oh, yeah, the potato! The potato! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> I love, I love Alpha's potato. Her potato mic is like my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... You've been busy dealing with personal stuff and you got a new job. Congrats on getting a new job. Congratulations. Hope that you're, uh, I hope it's a good busy, you know, uh, and if, if it, it, hope it, it will, it will slow down and you'll be able to have some time to relax soon. <laughs> yeah, potato, the potato, very cute potato. <laughs> Such a cute emote, I love it. I need to get more emo. I need more emotes. I'm running, I, I, um, one day, one day we'll get it. Ex potato, potato, <laughs> potato, <laughs> potato. Boil and mash and stick him in a stew. Wait, is that why? Wait, tuber, is that why you have a potato, Alpha? Because it's like a VTuber. It's a, it's a tuber pun. Have I missed this this entire time? 
Because if so, that is like so big brain. That's huge brain. Just love potatoes. Okay. Nyaruhodo, I see, I see. <laughs> Tony Hawk's potato. <laughs> That's good. I like it. It is now. Yeah. Okay, just retroactively, retroactively apply that. <laughs> it's a tuber joke. <laughs> Screw VTubers. Beat tubers when. Beat tubers? Hmm. There's gotta be a VTuber that's that's based on a beat, right? There's gotta be. There's like a VTuber for anything, right? Hmm. There has to be beats by Dre. <laughs> there has to be a beat, a beat VTuber. Like even me, like I wasn't I wasn't even the first vampire. It, I wasn't even the first vampire VTuber. <laughs> uh and I didn't realize it till after I had already been like, oh, this is unique. Nobody, nobody else is gonna be this. And then there was somebody else. <laughs> a beat saber play, a beat saber player based on beats. I had to really sound out every letter when I read that one. Wow. <laughs> a beat saber player based on beats. I read that like a. Wheel of Fortune contestant who is so nervous they don't want to mispronounce any letter in the word. <laughs> if there's a lamp VTuber, there has to be a beat VTuber. Hmm. Is there a lamp VTuber? I'm sure there's a lamp VTuber. The best vampire VTuber? I don't know. I don't compare. We don't compare VTubers. Beat juice? Beats are like, all right, here's my, here's my hot take. I'm not a beat fan because I think they simply taste like dirt. And the thought of drinking beet juice, I just imagine it will taste like a puddle. I'm sorry. Oh, beetle juice, beetle, beetle juice. Interesting. What is this word association game we're playing? We're just like saying random words that are related to each other. And I'm just reading them and like thinking really deeply like, yeah, okay. That's a good point actually. Wait, when you think about it that way, that, that does make sense to connect back to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Captain. There are two orca themed VTubers and both are immensely successful. You can have a vampire at rival, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, no matter what the theme is, everything's been done before. And if everybody can find success and happiness, then that's wonderful. Very good, very good. I bet my VTuber could beat your VTuber in a fight. I don't think so. I don't think so. Try taking off your like 10 foot high heels. Then, then we can talk. <laughs> I had a vegan era and they tried to make me like beets for the aesthetic and yes it tastes like dirt. <laughs> the aesthetic, the aesthetic of eating a beet. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I could eat a beet for the aesthetic. It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like that is worth it doesn't seem like that aesthetic is worth that effort. That's just me though. Maybe the taste for beets is inversely proportional to the taste for Nyan Pirate. Oh. So if you enjoy Nyan Pirate, then you don't like beets. But if you like beets, then you're not then you are not a Nyan believer. I see. I see. I hope you have a good rest of your stream. I'm going to call it a night. Good night, King Sora. Thanks so much for coming. I'm glad you were able to to watch and, and, and get some some inspiration maybe or some knowledge for for your VTuber. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for the Neon Fire Tambory. Um, and for for all of the raiders and new new watchers. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, <laughs> the Neon Fire. <laughs> That is what you can expect here with with Vampire Odessa. Sometimes, sometimes we go a little nyan. <laughs> Would you like to try a borscht? A borscht. <laughs> ah, thank you for the head pads, Andy. Thank you. Oh, you pet the cat. Nya nya, nya nya. <laughs> a borscht. Didn't I make a borscht in cooking simulator? Maybe I didn't make a borscht. I don't think anybody ordered the borscht. I think I got the recipe for a borscht, but I don't think I ever made it. I don't remember. <laughs> I think I might have tried. <laughs> yeah, there's a Nyan pirate. I'm the Nyan pirate. It's me. I'm the Nyan pirate. You did it, Nyan. You did it, Master. You got it. Yay! Thank you, Kain. <laughs> Odessa was supposed to cook you borscht. I was supposed to cook you borscht. Oh yeah, I was. You said you wanted to eat it and I didn't cook it because you didn't, nobody ordered it. I don't think anybody ordered it. They only wanted like salmon and trout and, and what was it, tomato soup maybe? Mm, nobody wanted the borscht. Then I ran out of time. Maybe next time I play. Maybe I can make you borscht next time. <laughs> And <laughs> the floor potatoes. Wait, you're 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 forgetting that it was floor potatoes with day old salmon that just sat on the counter all night. The customers loved it. They loved it exactly. <laughs> they loved. They they ate it all up. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> it's fine. Nobody. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know. Wait, truly, if anybody knows how you are supposed to move potatoes in that game, like why are there no tongs? Why are there no tongs to hold the potatoes? Why do I only have a flat spatula to pick up an entire potato? An entire hot potato. There is definitely something wrong with that picture. There's no way you're supposed to, like in real life, would you ever do such a thing to pick up a potato? No, the game, the game is wrong. It's not me. It's not me as a player. It's the game. It's simply the game. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. People do peel hot potatoes, but I think gloves would help. People do peel hot potatoes. Whoa, why is that? I opened up, I opened up Twitch in another tab and it wasn't muted and it, it echoed me and I completely threw off my rhythm just now for a sec. Hold on. <laughs> Haunted. Haunted for sure. What happened? Stab them with forks? Maybe. Yeah, I would do that if I had a fork. I didn't have a fork. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. Maybe I could have gotten a fork and done that. Who knows? That game, that game was hard. That game also, <laughs> it, it didn't let me clean up my mess. There was no option to clean. It was very difficult. A fork in a restaurant, unheard of, unheard of. Maybe it was just at the the, the customer's tables and not, not allowed back in the kitchen, huh? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I, I, should, I should do I should go back and revisit that game but I don't know was it was it a good stream or was a I... it was probably fine <laughs> what is my next stream my next stream I'm doing tomorrow tomorrow I'll be back streaming tomorrow wait where's my schedule I loved it and I would love borscht maybe maybe I'll bring it back I'll have to bring it back one day that was my sponsor stream. My sponsorship is over. No more sponsorship. So no worries about that. Oh, thank you for the schedule. Yes, I'll be back playing Cult of the Lamb tomorrow at 8 p.m. That's my schedule for, for this week. I'm trying to find, where did I? No, I downloaded. Oh, if I downloaded it, do you think it would be my downloads folder? Like where it should be, probably. 
Aha, here is my schedule. See, I, I, I changed things around in OBS. What did I just change the size of? Oh my Gucci-ness. Hold on, hold on, it's too big. It's too big. Okay, here we go. I think I'm gonna be winding down for the night. It's past, it's 12.30. But let me tell you when, I'm gonna, when you're gonna see me next, okay? When you're gonna see me next. You're gonna see me next on Saturday. February 4th for Cult of the Lamb, the finale. I believe it will be our last time playing Cult of the Lamb tomorrow, I think, if my calculations are correct uh, with the amount of bosses I have left to fight. I think we should be able to make it happen tomorrow and wrap it up then. And that will be at 8 p.m. I should use this little pointer thing more often. Look how convenient that is. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, my schedule cut for the week after I have not uh, finalized yet. So um, be on the lookout for that. If you want to follow my Twitter, I'll be, uh, I'll be posting it over on Twitter. If you'd like to join our Discord, we have a lovely Discord server where I will also post the schedule. I promise I'll post it there this time. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Kira, Kira the BA. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Hopefully, I'll see you back in another stream because I think we're going to be ending stream here in a second here. Um, one moment. Let's see. Uh, um. Yeah, um, but I'll be back tomorrow. Um, thank you so much all for coming to, to our class room today to learn about being a VTuber. If you have any questions um, and you don't want to talk to me during office hours, you can reach me after office hours. Uh, if you want to, to message or, or tweet or anything, ask a question, I'll be happy to, uh, to talk to you there. <laughs> oh, I do have a parrot now. You're right, I do. I gotta change that message, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go and raid. Let's see. We should raid. <gasps> it's Phoebe's graduation stream. We should raid Phoebe. Let's go. Let's go say hi, Phoebe. Let's go say. And I, I, I might cry. I might cry, but um, we're gonna do it anyway. Thank you for the raid message. We're going to. If you are a subscriber, go ahead and copy and paste that first raid message there. If you are a follower, then you can go ahead and copy and paste that second message there. You'll still get some emotes for for the raid. Don't forget to hydrate before going. Yes, hydrate. Hydration, everybody. Hydration. Okay, let's get this raid going. Hold on, where's my raid button? Last stream, yeah, she's continuing IRL activities. That's true, but her VTuber, it's her last stream as a VTuber. And I'll miss her, I'll miss her, but we'll be still be able to support her going forward. We love Phoebe so much. Let's give her all the love. Thank you everybody for coming. I really appreciate you taking your time to spend with me. I hope that today's stream was a little bit educational. If not, at least a little bit fun. Hope you enjoyed your time today. I will see you back here tomorrow at 8 p.m. Thank you uh, and take good care. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Thank you for the raids. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the love. And I will see you again again someday soon um tomorrow maybe who knows who knows maybe after that who knows okay love you bye 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 kira bye hi bye hi bye bye